Hopefully that's not too loud. And what about this? Alright, there we go. Good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning, Raddy. Uh, I, <laughs> I forgot, I, I was, uh, I did a short recording to test the audio balance, and, uh, I accidentally left it playing. <laughs> uh, anyways, wait, survivor, thank you. <laughs> uh, ooh, hold on. <laughs> the cards have a little bit of physics. Uh, but yeah, hopefully everything is balanced properly. It should be. It should be. Might not be. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I want the... I wanted to start the... The stream with the... The timeline showing. Any more in Clavia? With the shipping begin. Uh, not at the... Oh, wait, no, a little... No, not at the moment. In more in Rizul. You hit too? Slash ban. Sucker. No. <laughs> uh, anyways. And good morning, the random pie man. Uh, yeah, you should all be on the list. Yeah. 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 Okay. What happened to the doodle redeem? It wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> I forgot about it. Uh, I'm gonna have the stones to strike you down for good. Got the forgot to turn on the filk. Ah, uh, hmm. Next stream maybe. Let's see about that. Hmm. I did touch the the playlist a little bit. There we go. Hmm. I need to make an icon for every one of my redeems. Uh... Yeah, I would like to make one that's just, the uh, Make a doodle at the end of the stream. Although, this is always a long stream. Uh... Oh yeah, I used all of the endeavors... Last stream, I think, at the end of it. So, we just have to think about if we're going to make anything with these materials. And decide what to hunt. I, I don't want to fight a phoenix again. Not so soon. Not after that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. We lost all of the phoenix gear that we made. Which is fucking stupid. <laughs> uh. We do have a lantern helm now, though. That, that exists. I, I'll put that away. Oh, we got the helmet and the greaves. Interesting, actually. Uh, Manhunter hat there, maybe, instead? Yeah, we got the blue affinity connected and the red affinity on the gear grid. It could be interesting. Uh, but yeah, here's the, here's the current issue. What, what do I want to, to get? Hmm. So if we fight a phoenix, we can get three weapon proficiency, which I really want, and a bunch of phoenix resources, which can make some impressive gear. Uh, in particular, I want the bow. That should be very useful. Uh, hollow point arrow is interesting as well. Wing bones and one scrap. I could build that. Uh. Oh yeah, the weapons have been changed with community edition. Hmm. Interesting. Also, the armor set is good. Uh. As far as antelope goes, let's see. Wait, I don't have a mask maker. Hmm. I, I mostly just want resources from the antelope. 
Uh, but a level three lets me get the Lands of Longinus. Uh, this bad boy. Well, nine strength. Hmm. What does the what does the uh, Lantern Halberd have? Uh, no. There you go. Oxidized Lantern Glaive. Ah, that's what I meant. Six plus sharp. Hmm. And uh, bonus strength on a perfect attack. That uh, perfect hit. That's a lot more. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, good morning, Russian bro. Welcome to Welcome to the Dark Souls uh, 2 soundtrack. This is on shuffle, right? Oh, it's not. It's on shuffle now. There we go. Don't don't worry your pretty little heart. You won't accidentally get the playlist in the in the odd order that it is in. Ah, uh, now let's see. Mm, iron would be useful as well. Hmm. Weapon crafter. Rainbow katana is the only thing here that I might want, and it's. It's silly and it's not useful at this point. I don't have to think about those. Katarium. Oh, there we go. The healthy dose of corpse sounds as well. Uh, perfect. Settlement phase. I, I just put whatever on the playlist. Does not matter. <laughs> uh, volume 9. Hearing it out of order is a bit weird. Uh, let's see. Yeah, good morning, Arceal Ardor. Welcome. Oh yeah, I do have a full lion set. Uh, does the body piece have... No, it's just blue. So the uh, lion skin cloak is better. Hmm. But yeah, <laughs> welcome to the King of Death monster. Uh, welcome to the mixtape playlist. Uh, stream. Let's see. Uh, is there anything that I want to build this year? I could... I could build the Phoenix Helmet again. Hmm... But... Eh... Hollow wing bone, small feather, one bone. That's actually very cheap. Hmm... Something required... Two tail feathers? Hmm... Something that I wasn't willing to pay. <laughs> Good morning, Mexican Pan. W welcome to the... <laughs> don't, don't, don't let Shady sleep outside. No. Hmm. Now, let's see. Uh, bird bread is interesting. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. You can eat to gain one armor to all hit locations, the priority target token, and you have a 1 in 10 chance of Reducing your survival to zero. Priority target token can do some very interesting things. Ah, is, is it too loud? Hmm. As always, let me know if the audio is bad. Uh. Let's see. Yeah, I just want a ton of organs. No, it's fine. Okay, slash ban Razul. <laughs> no. Uh. Bone in a scrap. Uh, shimmering halo. Uh, da -da -da -da. Ah, the hours ring is an interesting choice. I think I will build that. Ding, 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 ding. Hmm, interesting. I will want to set that aside for future use. Hmm. How insane is Mighty Germ? 22 insanity. Nah, I can't take him. Unfortunate. Hmm. Don't have any way to fix that. Let's see. Uh, I could get some hunt experience on some new survivors so that they can uh, properly take on the Phoenix. That's not too bad. Oh yeah. 
Pukovat Patchy underscore channel. From NSI. I did it's not my fault. It is not bad for grand weapons and has okay hunt experience and good stats. Now you're more in Jack's box. Uh you have another list, right? Yeah. Bowser seems to like be super annoying to use in the real life version. Oh yeah. Uh well actually. Hmm. Now I'll tell you the secret to how this works in the in the core game. Uh here we go. So it says <laughs> It says uh to the departing survivor's step. You know, yeah, they're in the aftermath. If you died or cease to exist, reset the campaign to the previous settlement's phases, depart uh, prepare the departing survivor step, and archive the hour's ring. Normally, it goes to, like, the start of the settlement phase. Uh, I don't remember the exact wording. But basically, if you... You can cheese the game in a silly way. If you save the materials for making one of these until the, the last lantern year, and then during that year, you make it. Uh, if you die in the fight, the the vanilla version says you go back to the start of the lantern year, so you can just make a new one and just retry the final battle an infinite number of times. Because it's funny. <laughs> uh, oh, hollow point interest arrows are interesting. Uh, first of all, very high strength. So you're practically guaranteed the wound if you hit. And, on a hit, monster gains minus one movement token once per showdown. Uh, we don't need the phoenix fingers. So, we can use those for that. I need to reset this so I can grab the helmet again. Uh, the chest piece is good too. Hmm, how much does that require? Iron, leather, tail feathers, hide. Oops. We have iron. We don't have any leather. Yeah, we'd have to spend an endeavor to make some. We do have eight tail feathers. As opposed to small feathers. And hide. I could more than guess. <laughs> what if the survivors were evil? Mmm, bone eaters. Yeah. Ah, so... This one's interesting. Uh, uh, we could try making the uh, beast knuckle. Need large flat teeth and pelts. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will make the uh, the thing. The music. <laughs> uh. Mm. Oh, yeah. While well, I have the power of tabbing out for the video game. There you go. This <laughs> is corpse. Corpse shout out. This is corpse sounds. Yes. <laughs> uh, mm. Unfortunately trapped on YouTube. Please, uh, please pog at the corpse reference. Uh... Yeah, please check out Corpse if you haven't. Uh, one of the... One of the VTube... <laughs> free her. Hmm. Uh, famous VTuber Corpse channel needs your help. She's trapped on YouTube and requires... <laughs> 1K subs. Uh, th th thank you for the raid, No Name Paladin. Justice! Mm -mm. Come on aside. <laughs> Good morning, Aracio the Duck. Good morning, No Name Bag. Uh, no Name Paladin. <laughs> good morning, Alex 9x. Uh, good morning, Clubby. And good morning, Drippin' Ducky. <laughs> uh, uh. Good morning, Danny Does. Speedrun Raid. Okay. Let me, get, let me hit you with the shout out. And good morning, M Mini Nader. Uh. No, I'm gonna use the forbidden technique, and I'm just going to uh, copy paste the name. Normally, I just type it out. 
There you go. Speedrun. <laughs> let, let me guess. You, you speedran Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Hmm. Ah, but yes, oh, welcome to... The name is quite long. I, I, I've, I've typed worse. <laughs> uh, I'm just a little panicked, as always. Broker World Record 17th. <laughs> Uh, I've always loved that gimmick of just putting the speedrun timer up for a, uh, not a speedrun. <laughs> uh, now let me see. Let me check my, my, uh, spreadsheet right now. Let's see. Horatio the Duck. Welcome to the Survivor Name List. Uh. Hmm. Let's see. Alex9x. Welcome to the Survivor Name List. <laughs> And there we go. Uh, Glubby. Oh, you're not on the name list either. Welcome to the Survivor name list. Let's see. Uh. Yeah, 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 of course. Any does. Welcome to the Survivor name list. Uh, let's see. Number 267. Hmm. <laughs> Some of you are going to if you get the if you get picked. Now let's see. Uh Yeah, no name paladin. Welcome to the survivor name list. Corn plus a heretic. Not having doodles enabled is based. I'm already stretched thin at the at this very moment. Hmm. There we go. Uh I misspelled Paladin. I've got it on fucking copy-paste. What am I doing? <laughs> you just, you could have just copy and pasted the username. Uh, and there we go. I believe that's everyone. Yeah, you, you, you'll just get destroyed genitals. Uh, as always. Ah, but yes. Welcome to... Kingdom Death Monster. I might as well do the spiel. Here we go. Check this shit out. Uh... This is a very interesting game. It's definitely my favorite board game, and it's definitely uh, mechanics heavy. But it's got great lore and flavor and all that fun stuff. Like, uh, yeah, if this sets the tone, you yeah, get good stuff. Good stuff. Hungry Lion. There's dudes. All right. But yes, I, I will do the bit. <laughs> uh, extremely expensive doodle redeem, based. Yeah, good morning, Order of Dusk. Uh, I'll pause the music for this. All right. But yes, if I can sell anyone on this game this way, I will. Oh yeah, you had fun with your stream, right? No name Paladin. <laughs> uh, hmm. I do not know the slang term cracked. <laughs> All right. But yes, here, here, here's, here's the shilling attempt. German based a cringe. Uh, cringe. Too many variations of words. <laughs> Good morning, Josie to Tohosi. Oh no, uh, let me check the name list. Ah, yeah, you're on there. Okay. No, this is, this is just the... Uh, I'm, I'm just shilling the game. And it's been a while since I've read through this on stream. But yeah, this is, this is what sets the tone. Once upon a time, there was a place of carved stone faces. A man with a lantern laid sleeping a dreamless sleep. The man knew nothing. And... One day, the man woke up. He rubbed the dried ink caked over his eyes and opened them. Around him, he saw people stirring, and beyond, a horizon of unbroken darkness. A woman approached the man with the lantern. Her soft hand reached out to him. They had no words. They were a mystery to each other. Suddenly, a monster emerged from the darkness. Its eyes wild with hunger, it attacked. The people were no match for the monster. 
It tore their flesh and crushed their bones between its teeth. Some, it devoured whole. Overcome with terror and grief, the man with the lan lantern collapsed to the ground. Cold stone noses pushed into his side. There was no escape. But the man did not want to die. Desperately grasping at the cold stone faces, he felt a crack and tore at it with all his might. A piece of stone came free. It was sharp and deadly. The man with the lantern scrambled to his feet. His weapon clenched in his fist. He took a deep breath and roared into the darkness. Somewhere, in the place of stone faces, nameless men and women stand together. They have nothing but a need to survive and a lantern to light their struggle. <laughs> and then you get this page. Okay. Uh... Uh, based to cringe Spanish. Uh, cringe. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, based to cringe Chinese. <laughs> I will not elaborate on Spanish. No. <laughs> uh, hmm. Chinese. Hmm. The language based. No. No, tones suck. Cringe. Taiwanese. I don't actually know anything about Taiwanese as a language. Uh, the pasta. Yeah, based. Very good. Uh, oh, the big finale. Yeah, I'm constantly gearing up for it. Uh, and, but yeah, Taiwanese, based. Just because, no. Uh, yeah, the, the game is grim, dark, and immature. It's great. Uh, it's darkest dungeon, uh, Monster Hunter. There you go. There's the games journalist uh, summary. Uh, I don't know how to say based in Chinese. Grim dumb. <laughs> Grim derp. It, it's very immature. It's based when it's not being cringe. Oh yeah, and uh, Karagi did die. Good morning, Sergeant. There. Uh, the dog, in fact, is dead. Unexisted, to be precise. Uh. Let's see. Does anyone have any more grand weapon proficiency? I mean, Ilya's got two. Uh, two evades. Mm. Matchmaker. Ah, post traumatic stress, though. Yeah. Is Karagi the unkillable Aegis guy? Uh, the Karagi was the grand weapon master. <laughs> I. Hmm. Maybe I could have prevented it. Uh, yeah, Karagi <laughs> carries the underscore channel surname. Uh, hmm. But no, uh, who was it? Mighty Germ is the uh, is the one with eternal will. Yeah, if you want to know why this game's good, <laughs> uh, there's stupid stuff like this, which is fun. So yeah, like eternal will. Gain plus one accuracy and plus one strength for each permanent injury you have, and you may always depart, even when retired. Now you're still on the list. Jiyu. Uh, Jiyu Shenma. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I don't know exactly how to say based on what, but that's... That's almost close. Uh but yeah, you just get that you just get to fight forever. Oh yeah, Mighty Germ's almost at maximum understanding. And <laughs> Abyssal Sadist is has some of the best art in the game. Hmm. You can only lose your genitals once. Uh yeah, yeah. Being torn to pieces. Uh based. Should be able to lose it twice. I don't know if that's how uh, I don't know if that's how that works. Anyways, heal and reset everyone. There we go. Based to cringe. <laughs> based. Uh hmm. Hmm. Uh, the most political I will get. 
is I, I will say the Chinese government has done very questionable things. <laughs> uh, it's an interesting way to put it. Uh, there we go. But yeah. This is the Monster Hunter part of the game. <laughs> where, where you use uh, the resources you got from whatever monster you hunted to make new gear. Uh, does that actually knock people off the internet? <laughs> uh, hopefully. No. Uh, good morning, Xenocat. Welcome to, welcome to the KDM. Yeah, there's a, there's a giant phoenix, a time chicken. Now, let's see. Do I want to build the helmet? Hmm. I don't think I'll be able to build the whole armor set, but just the helmet as a treat should be fine. Any deja vu? Ah, you're the VOD watcher. <laughs> uh, interesting. I'll note that down in the actual spreadsheet. <laughs> no, 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 no. Really, does that does that work? Uh, we don't. We do technically have an axe. Uh, one of the most interesting things about the lantern glaive is that it counts as both a spear and an axe, so you get the benefits of proficiency from both. Uh yeah. I... Oops. Yeah, the phoenix helm doesn't use any iron or scrap. I would love to build the lantern set. Because it's funny. Uh, I need a club to go with that. May as well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the the lantern glaive is very nice. Uh, oxidized lantern glaive is one of the best pieces of of weapons in the game. Uh, let's see. Yeah, may as well make that and put that in that gear grid. Ah, uh, here's one of the fun things of the game, the, uh, the gear grid. The base, as they say. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, Aira has vestophobia. So, hmm. She cannot wear... That, that's... Oh god. That phoenix fight was terrifying. <laughs> It was horrible. Uh, we lost a, uh, we lost, we made a, a Phoenix placard, which is a very good piece of gear. But when you gain Vestophobia, that survivor tears off the whatever piece of gear is at their waist current or their body currently. And uh, yeah, that was a lot of resources gone. <laughs> uh, it's, it's it's horrible. <laughs> Sucks. Uh. Let's see. Uh, oh, we got the god mask. Hmm. Can I fit this into a gear grid in any way, shape, or form? Hmm. Let's see. Because, yeah, the affinities are a nice mechanic. So, all those colored boxes mean... If you make that many boxes, pretty much, in your gear grid, you get that bonus. So, it would be very difficult on here. Hmm. Oh, I could just get that on this survivor. Uh, this gear grid. So, I could do something like this. And... There's one blue affinity, two blue affinities, one red, two red... One green, two green. And there you go, that's enough to activate God Mask at the start of your act. If insane, gain one survival. And you may perform one survival action one additional time per round. That is very silly. Oh yeah! And community edition, community edition. This, I'm playing with what is pretty much the, uh, the mod pack. The, the, the fan-made patch for this game, because some of the stuff was unbalanced. Uh, I believe the main goal was to make... Uh, good morning, Ilya. It's Kumite. Uh, 
Hmm. I haven't started yet. <laughs> uh, I've done a little bit of settlement stuff. Uh, all, all the masks ha have outfit now. And accessory. Uh, which is nice. But outfit means... You can, you can use this to complete a set that contains the, uh... Any of the material keywords. So what that means is I can use this to complete the uh, screaming armor set. Because the helmet normally has the bone keyword and this has the bone keyword as well. So not only do I get to keep the set bonus, Antelope Mask does the same. But that real type tabletop game if you don't spend two hours at the start reading and forgetting the rules. Oh, I'm not I'm not reading and forgetting. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm managing bullshit. It's great. Ten out of ten. Uh Let's see. What else? Hmm. Uh. But yeah, having... Getting one survival every turn is incredible. Uh. Let's see. Uh. Yeah, Sukovat has one luck. Which is very nice. Ah, we lost one of our monster greases. Now, ah, good, I have one sitting around in storage. There we go. Ah, uh, nice. Ah, uh, what else? But yeah, Dragon Slayer is straight up one of the best weapons in the game. Ah, uh, hmm. Uh, what else? Hmm. So I want someone to be the uh, steel shield tank. Hmm. Un unfortunately, Juni unexisted as well last year. Uh, it would be nice to have someone with Thrill Seeker. Adra has Thrill Seeker, but. She has Vistaphobia, which is annoying. Uh, Mario has Thrill Seeker. <laughs> Destroyed genitals, of course. Monster Panic, it's okay. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe Mario. Yeah, he's got Tinker and Matchmaker. Is there anyone better? Uh... Hmm... Genitals is a mechanic and it's not Kumite. Listen, it's simple. Destroy genitals means destroy genitals. Uh, let's see. Berserker is interesting. Clutch fighter is fun. Ah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, Mario's a good choice. Can we put a bow on the gear grid? Oh, we could just have him just... Yeah, we could just have him chill. Not even attack. Uh... Speaking of... Hmm... Unconscious Fighter is interesting. Tinker prepared. Blind... Hmm... And low strength and... Negative accuracy. Uh, not too good. Protect your grind. The, uh, screaming skirt, the, the screaming antelope's waist piece is, uh, the, the protective fur protects your parts. Uh, plus one to severe waist injury roll results. Yeah. Protecting your groin is a very, uh, a very good option. Now, nah, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, Kerbo Gamer Rider is a training spear. Hmm. Yeah, he's not a bad pick. Uh. Let's see. Ah, Dr. McJones is as well. Hmm. He's high up in Lantern years. Uh. Yeah, we can save him for some other hunts. He does have Immortal as well. 
see. Order is interesting. Ah, oh, yeah, this is a an interesting disorder. So, you compulsively collect and stash anything you can get your hands on. Every little bit you add to your secret hoard makes your existence feel more real. When you're a returning survivor, archive one resource gained during, uh, from the last showdown, and gain one courage. So, it does let you get to max courage faster, but you lose out on a few resources over the course of the campaign. Which does matter. Uh, let's see. Who do we want to be the dodge tank? Does anyone have more than two evasion? No. Ah. Uh, anyone we don't mind... Mm, losing... Uh, not, not losing out on the weapon proficiency with. Ah. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Duck pest. Well, he's got spear. He's, he's got a spear. Uh. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe blue cornflower? He's got twilight sword proficiency. Which is interesting, to say the least. And berserker isn't my favorite fighting art. Hmm. Yeah, we can try him out. There we go. But yeah, you can uh, you can purposefully suffer the frenzy brain trauma, which gives you a speed token, a strength token, but uh, you can't spend you can't spend survival or use fighting notes and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, overall, not good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, so. Uh, this gear grid is very interesting. We've got the item, the, the, the tool belt. Uh, unique so you can only have one of it. If you have no weapons in your gear grid, gain plus three evasion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It does gave, gain you some insanity, yeah? Uh, no, that's the severe injury table. Ah, uh, 1d5, yeah? It's got a good a good chance of giving you the proper insanity. Uh, yeah, no one's too insane. Which is good. Uh, Phoenix Helm at the start of the showdown. Uh, if insane at the start, gain plus one evasion token. Interesting. Uh, oh yeah, and the Rawhide Vest gives one evasion as well. Uh... There we go. Six evasion. Hmm. I might just take off the steel shield and put a real weapon in this gear grid. Hmm. Ah, uh, no, he's got the, uh, the headband and the cat eye circlet, so we just want him just popping out the funny actions. Uh, let's see. I think this should be good. Hmm. We can put a different shield on this set. Uh, I would love a shield master. But yeah, eight, eight evasion. Very nice. Mixed armor sets are very interesting. Uh, because set bonuses are very good. Not only do you get extra armor at all locations. With the screaming armor gives you two to each hit location. It's very nice. But you also get a neat ability. Screaming armor just makes you much more consistent. Uh, speaking of, let me check something. Showdown. Screaming antelope. Ah, no. Wrong level. So, here we go. Of toughness, but hmm, legendary horns. There we go. Uh, screaming antelope is impossibly old. The monster gains plus four toughness tokens and plus one speed token. The monsters gain accuracy. Yes. Eight evade is usually just they have to roll ten to hit. Uh, two plus on the accuracy for that. 
Hmm. I don't know if this is good enough. Uh, nah, this should be fine as a secondary tank. Maybe I want... Hmm. I want the pickaxe. I need a lantern. And... I want all this armor. It should be good. Hmm. But yeah. Most level 3 monsters will have... Like... Two accuracy tokens. Oh? Really? Wait, what? Not good morning, sir, you. You're welcome. Huh. Why does it say two accuracy? Twelve toughness. Hmm. It should be. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let me double check this. Idiom. Uh, green antelope. But yeah, I'm doing well. Video game is going. Corpse sounds is playing in the background. Based. <laughs> really? Now, it shouldn't have plus two accuracy. Uh, hmm. There are a few things incorrect with this mod. Ah, but yes. Legendary Horn should give it four toughness tokens and one speed token. Oh yeah, and whenever you end your turn adjacent to it, you suffer one brain damage per monster level. If you have less than five courage. Uh... Ah, uh, this dude. It doesn't have... Hmm... I'll put someone else in this gear grid. He doesn't have free courage or understanding. Triple gamer's good there. Mario is not. Sukovat is. That's like a good morning. Uh, yeah, courage and understanding are funny stats. <laughs> if you get three in either, you get a nice bonus. Uh, if you get nine, you get a very nice bonus, usually. Uh... Let's see. Anyone else with good? No, no, hmm. No, no. Attenborough's got five. And, mm, only one evasion, though. Damn it. Ah. Uh, hmm. I used all of my endeavors. Now, let's see. Ah. Uh, Hmm. Robert, Robert Brown's only got four. I mean, we could send in Dr. McJones or Mighty Germ. Uh, those are, they're built different. Uh, so we just want someone with Tinker or Matchmaker. Tinker and Matchmaker. Tinker and Prepared. Hmm. And that B-Man? He's only got two strength. We might... We might just relegate him to, uh... Non-fighting roles. I think I'm wearing Boonie Rapuni. Crazy how Germ is still alive. Yeah, he got he got lucky. He was also the only one to survive that uh, that Manhunter fight. That's, that's where Corpse died. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, he, he's got eternal will now. He's, he's actually the strongest. Uh... Oh shit, he has like 9 base strength. And... He gets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Yeah, he gets plus 5 strength. Crazy how Jerma is still alive. All that fucked up stuff that Jerma's done. <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyways, I think we're good here. Like so. Alright. Uh, everything seems to be built correctly. Alright, let's go. <laughs> uh, showdown, let's clean this up. Oh wait, no, I didn't, I didn't get what I wanted. 
So, cool mod detail. You can see... Oh, wait, uh, let's see the toughness tokens. There we go. Four. Yeah, plus four toughness. So, you get to see what what rolls you have to make in order to actually hit the monster. Yeah, it shouldn't have plus accuracy. Unless that was a community edition change that isn't noted on the card. Hmm, interesting. I'll have to talk to my lawyers. <laughs> ah, but you get to see what rolls you need to make. Uh, Kubo Gamer doesn't... Hmm... Lantern Glaive should hit often enough. Uh, Sukavat Patches should do well enough. Oh shit! Uh, thank you for the raid, Juni. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Welcome to Kingdom Death Monster. Uh, let me get you with the shadow. Hmm. There we go. Uh. Nice, there we go. Oh shit, only one gigabyte left on my computer. Uh... Hold on. Let me delete Avad. <laughs> but yeah, good morning, Juni. Uh, your character's dead, by the way. Uh... Sorry, buddy. <laughs> uh... Shit, which one of these have I uploaded? <laughs> you got unexisted. You were one of the most powerful ones. I haven't bought an external hard drive yet. No. Why would I? <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. I've uploaded all the way up to there. Yeah. I can delete that. Delete that. Uh, delete these two, unfortunately. And delete that. Is that correct? Uh... And delete that. There we go. <laughs> uh, 1106, uploaded. Y you're dead. <laughs> Halo was fun. You, you had fun, right? Uh... This is your daily reminder to buy an external hard drive. Uh, yeah. This should be dunkable. There we go. Plenty of space. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, there we go. But yeah, uh, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bags bite. Good night. Uh, alright. So, yeah, we do want to fight a screaming antelope. So let's see. Let me make sure everything is correct. Oh yeah. Uh pretty much five plus and then sharpness. Yeah, yeah. Kerbo Gamer should be good with the uh the lantern glaive. Mario doesn't really need to attack. Neither does Undead B-Man. Sukavat Pachi. Two plus with the Dragon Slayer. Perfect. Alright. So. Alright, check this out. Uh, let's see, Sigur of Apache. Yeah, the leather shield bonus is correct. Set bonus. Each armor piece. Uh, I don't have the monster grease bonus, so. Plus two evasion. Uh, and what do we get for departing? Four survival. Okay. One, two, three, four. One insanity from the leather mask. Two survival from the bracers. And Dragon Slayer is still very good. Uh Mario. Four survival. Uh one and one. Uh, ah, one evasion from the rawhide vest. There we go. And every time you hear Dragon Slayer, <laughs> uh, the Berserk Clang. 
Oh, does Mario... No, he's got two movement now. Damn it. That sucks. Uh... Death Pact. He's got a fucking gun. Uh... That was really fun. Uh... Yeah, everything's done there. Kerbal Gamer. Alright, hits the survival max. Any... Any other bonuses? Hmm... Two strength from the monster tooth necklace. It's only got three strength by default. That is a bit unfortunate. Uh, what else did we have? Dr. McJones, but he's almost, he's almost retired. Hmm. And a mortal could mess around with some things. Uh, undead bee man. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, six evasion tokens. He'll get one more if he's crazy when he arrives on the showdown. And... That's it. <laughs> okay. Frickin' sweet. Uh... Alright, temporary token. How do you get a damage token? Uh oh, I must have messed something up earlier. Don't worry about that. Uh, alright. Clean up showdown. Alright. Yeah, I should check out Halo Infinite someday. I doubt it works on Linux, but, uh, it might. Alright. So here's the hunt phase. So, just the whole hunt party, the quarry, and random encounters in between. We also get to set up a mineral gathering space because we have someone with a... Oops. With a pickaxe. There we go. And we'll put that after Overwhelming Darkness. But yeah, the... The layer of the cards is always the same. There's the generic ones, which are, which are always just roll 1d100. And there are the monster-specific ones. The layout's always the same, but the monster is placed at different points. Depending on the level of monster. There we go. There's one antelope event that I don't want to encounter, so... I'll try my best not to encounter it by putting mineral gathering over a monster hunt event. Alright, so let's begin. Start with, uh, let's see, what is it? Uh, we can hide this, hide this. We won't be attacking with that. Uh, probably won't be attacking Fist and Teeth. <laughs> Come on, Doc Pestis. Best of luck. Uh, you're a- oh yeah, you're a survivor now. Doc Pestis Rider. Uh, or the Kerbo Gamer and Blue Corn Flower. Best of luck to you. You're not in the- you're not in the party. But, uh, good luck, buddy. Uh, yeah, happy birthday to you. I think that was at the end of the last stream. Maybe. <laughs> oh, this. Uh... Hmm. Really, the beacon shield is an interesting choice of weapon. Uh. Now that I think about it. Beacon shield here. Another shield here for even more green affinities? No, we don't need it. I wasn't sure if you'd ever see the light of day. I'm doing it randomized now. Because the list was too long. There we go. Anyways. <laughs> uh, 268 names. Uh, no, 267 names long at the moment. So, yeah. yeah it's a bit big. So here we go. Grazing field. Ah. Hmm. So yes, Acanthus leaves sprout from the crevices in the stone ground. The survivors spend time gathering and eating the small leaves. Each survivor may heal one hit location of their choice, restoring all injury levels and armor points. If any survivor has a sickle, they gain one fresh Acanthus strange resource. Uh, no one has any injuries yet. 
no, no one's taken any damage, and no one has a sickle. And at the very bottom, roll a random hunt event. There's practically nothing happening. Uh... Oh... 19. Let's see... Oh yeah, let me check something. Uh... Monster Panic... Order... No, no other disorders. What about survive... Uh, Fighting Knights... Thrill Seeker... Stalwart... Analyze... Hmm... Matchmaker, Tinker... Berserker... Yeah, nothing... Nothing that affects the hunt phase, so we don't have to worry about that. Alright. Uh, oh yeah. You just type it in up here. And it'll take you to the page that contains that one. Hey, here we go. Let's hide the battle UI. Exhalation of Darkness. The survivors are enveloped in a steamy darkness that dims their lantern lights. They become separated from each other and hopelessly lost. If a survivor has the leader fighting art, they boldly stride into the clammy darkness and gather everyone. Otherwise, each survivor rolls 1d10. The lowest scoring survivor, or survivors in case of ties, becomes a straggler. Hmm. Interesting. Uh. So. Color coded. Let's see. Uh. One should be the lowest. Yep, no bonus. Alright. Sukavat Patchy. Uh. Now let me move that in that order. Uh. Yeah, no one has prepared. Okay. So it's just raw numbers. Alright. Uh. Yeah, each straggler rolls 1d10. You trip and fall into the bones of an ancient monster, smashing a piece of gear on the way down. Archive one gear of your choice from your gear grid. Uh... So... If we archive the final lantern, horrible. Worst choice. Uh... Weapon, bad. Leather shield? Eh, maybe. Monster grease? Eat best option. Any of the armor? We lose the, uh, the set bonus. Yeah, Monster Grease only costs one organ. And we don't need the evasion. Uh, we've got the... We've got the, uh... A tank. we got two separate tanks, actually. But yeah. Alright. Is that event re resolved? Easy. Alright. Random event. Ninety. Yeah, nine and zero. Ah, it's a bit annoying that the dice are the way they are on, on this. Yeah, on the on the official tabletop one or whatever. The one is just a number one, and the zero is the lantern ten. So it makes it work better for a D one hundred. Uh, oh, uh, light on the horizon. The survivors hear a screeching howl, followed by a crash. They see an explosion of multicolored light on the horizon. The unnatural light illuminates the survivor's way. If at least one survivor is sane, they follow the light. You may reroll the next result on the hunt event table. If all survivors are insane, they turn away from the light, walking into the darkness. I'm just survivors two spaces back. Interesting. Uh, sane. So yeah, you're insane if you have three or more insanity. So, Sukavat Patchy is sane. Mario is insane. Kerbo, insane. And B-Man, sane. So, we can reroll the next one. And, regardless of what the survivors do, the light reaches the settlement. Add the Lights in the Sky settlement event to the timeline next year. This is a good one. <laughs> this is a good result. Uh... Oh yeah, no, it's a good one. 
There we go. Uh, murder is not a good one. We'll have to plan around that. Somehow. Oh, yeah. Mighty Germ is the, <laughs> is the main target for murder. We might take Aedra out on another hunt, just so that she gets one more XP. <laughs> good morning, Vic Saramanok. Welcome to, uh... Welcome to Kingdom Death Monster. Oh yeah, someone ended up being a Marrow Eater. I don't know if they died. They're a Bone Eater. M marrow Hunger. Uh, they, may have, they may have died already. Ah, but yeah, welcome. Welcome to almost the showdown phase. I think I think they I think they passed away. Hmm. Anyways, uh, let's see. So we can reroll the next random event. Let's see. Carpet of ticks. This is the one that I didn't want. <laughs> Damn it. Mm -mm. Lights in the sky. At this time, <laughs> at this time of the lantern year, this time of the hunt event, this part of the darkness, localized entirely within your showdown. Mm, yes. <laughs> Let me flip these back over. It makes it more readable. Now you see it. No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. The ground is covered with a carpet of huge writhing ticks. Each survivor must try to fend off the swarm. Roll 1d10 and add your hunt experience. On a result of 6+, plus, you successfully smash the ticks away in a shower of gore. Alright. Uh, add your hunt experience. Tsukovat Patchy, 6+. Plus. See what I have to roll? Okay, 6+. Plus. He's fine. Mario. Green, 3 plus two, five, shit. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> later order of dusk. Uh, sleep tight. Don't let the, the big bigs bite. Uh, have a good one. Cripple gamer, he's fine. Undead bee man, not fine. Oh damn, this sucks. Uh, so. Otherwise, on a result below 6, the ticks make you sick. Reduce your survival to 0, roll 1d10, on a result of 8+, plus, suffer m a permanent minus 1 strength. Uh, permanent debuffs are not the best. Alright, 0 survival. Hmm. Alright. And... Let's, uh... Let's see if either get minus permanent strength. Okay, good. That's a five. Oh, I could have... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Uh... That should be... Yeah, that should be the next result on the hunt table. It should be the next event. I believe. Either way, that's not on the table. So, no. And, and both of them are fine. They, they just lost all survival. They just got really grossed out. Alright, random event. 81. Hmm. <laughs> Love one rock. Uh, field of arms. Ah, this one's fun. The survivors carefully tread along. Uh, I'll choose not to reroll this. This one isn't bad, which is the, the best I could hope for. The survivors carefully tread along the back of a massive, sleeping monster. Instead of fur, it has elongated arms, several of them twitching to whatever dream the great beast is in the midst of. The survivors don't disturb the monster's deep sleep and cross without issue. If any survivor has a sickle, they may gingerly remove some tough skin from one of the arms and gain one hide, basic resource. We don't have a sickle. Uh, I don't have the space in any gear grid to use it, really. But you can just 
take a little bit of skin as a treat. Alright. So we lost that reroll. Nothing happened, which is very good compared to losing survivors. Alright, 17. Uh, here we are. A giant sleeping beast that has arms instead of skin. And it's fine. It's sleeping. Uh, uh, face to face. Oh. <laughs> Amidst the sea of stone faces, one catches the event revealer's eye. They feel compelled to investigate. Gain plus one courage and roll 1d10. More afraid of that than the antelope. Eh, it happens. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it should be. Yeah, Sukovat Patchy's turn. Oh, nice. Almost a max courage. Alright. And let's see what fun stuff happens here. Oh, eight. Oh! The face is your own, but older and wiser. Gain plus one survival and plus one understanding. <laughs> He's just sleeping. He won't wake up. That's obviously how it works. Hmm. But yeah. Uh I think the the yeah, the one result. No. Uh Hmm. I was thinking of a different one. Hmm. Interesting. That can remove your understanding. Interesting. I thought that was the one where you start kissing the ground. <laughs> I, I swear there's one like that. Uh, and now in the middle of the hunt board is Overwhelming Darkness. This one's interesting. Uh, so all survivors must determine their paths and walk them simultaneously. We do... Mm, so normally, you uh, see which one applies. Insane survivors walk the path of the insane. If no other path applies, doomed. And survivors with three plus courage walk the path of the brave. Uh, left to right, they, they get better, basically. Path of the insane is the worst. Path of the brave is the easiest. Uh, but where is it? There we go. Song of the brave is an innovation on, on the tech tree that we got. So, uh, during Overwhelming Darkness, each non-deaf survivor may select Path of the Brave. Yeah, no one is deaf. Yeah, we're good. Seeing a people to see test campaign with a face fish that has the survivor's face. Narcissistic survivor's <laughs> Wait, what? Interesting. Hmm. Now you're more V Templar. <laughs> welcome to... <laughs> welcome to Kingdom Death Monster. Uh... We're currently walking through darkness. As is the usual. Ah, let's see. Let's do the lowest result first. Three for Sukavat Patchy. You punch yourself in the face to chase away doubt. Gain a minus one accuracy token. But yeah, I'm doing well, because... Video games going on, well, yeah? Uh, just a few, uh, punches to the face. Let's see. Six, seven, eight. Ah, uh, seven, eight are the same. Uh, six. A massive whale swims overhead. Your guts quiver with its booming cries. You vomit in fear, but keep a brave face. Gain one evasion token. And after this event, all other survivors gain plus one survival from your bold display. Ah... Uh... Minus one evasion. Mood. Really interesting. Uh, I never would have expected. No. <laughs> was that Mario? No, who was that? Who rolled the six? Uh, white. And the B man. There we go. Impressed by how hard he can puke. Ah. Uh, <laughs> what happened, leader? Sir, I threw up. 
I fucking love that stupid Halo meme. Or whatever, just like, Master Chief, mind telling me what you're doing in the nurse's office? <laughs> Sir, I threw up. <laughs> Master Chief. Sir, go in blanky mode. <laughs> and there we go. Seventh and nine. With your lantern held high, you cut a path through the teeming darkness. Suffer one event damage to your arms. S sir, dwinky my sir slurpy. Uh. No, it was blue and green, yeah? Yeah. Uh. Event damage cannot kill you. That, that's all it does. That's the difference between normal damage and event damage. There you go. This is a daily lesson. Ah, mineral gathering. This one's fun. Uh, nice. So, every survivor with a pickaxe rolls on the mineral gathering table. Hopefully we'll get lucky and get 8 plus again. Two. So, one to three. You strike a stone that resembles your face. It explodes, covering you in blood. Gain plus one insanity and the hemophobia disorder. Uh, and the bee man. There we go. Ah. Uh, someone already got it. Alright, there we go. So. The mere sight of blood makes you lightheaded, and serious gore can knock you out. During the showdown, whenever a survivor, including you, gains a bleeding token, you are knocked down. No, no, the home of Bobia. Uh, oh yeah, and plus one insanity. That's good. Uh, the worst outcome probably would have been, well, getting one iron is good as well. But we'd have, we would have lost the pickaxe. No hemo. Uh, hemophilia disorder. Just die with one bleed token. That might be a thing, actually. Let's see. 58. Homophobia. <laughs> uh, uh, it's not my fault. Let's see. Scent on the wind. A strong wind blows, bringing with it the scents of distant places and things. The event revealer rolls 1d10. 1 to 5, the monster catches your scent. 6 plus. Skip ahead. Oh. Talking about Tiny Master Chief? <laughs> you got a rope emote. I'm impressed. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Uh, the monster catches your scent, moves one space closer. There we go. Sir, drinking my pilk. Alright, let's, uh... Let's sonorous rest. Wait, does it, this stops this, uh... Quarries mm. cannot move off. And survivors if they move backwards, okay. Sir. Winky. Uh, based. So here we go. We have the rever reverberating lantern, yes? Yeah, right here. At the start of the turn, uh, start of any hunt turn, before an event is revealed, you may perform sonorous, hunt, uh, sonorous rest limit once per hunt. Uh, there we go. We get, we get a short rest. Pegnog is actually not that bad either. I have tried it. The survivors activate their reverberating lantern. Its unsettling vibrations cause headaches, but drown out all sound within its small area. The group can now pause safely while the lantern remains active. So either rest or tune. Rest to survival plus one for each green affinity. Coca Cola. <laughs> uh, Coca Pilka. Or tune. Three insanity and plus one for each blue affinity. Rest is usually better, but getting insanity is good as well. Uh, let's let's rest with practically everyone. 
So we have Apache, can go up to max survival. Uh, Mario has no green affinities, so he get he just gets two survival. Kerbo Gamer. I don't want any more insanity on him, and he's already at 15, so that's fine. And Undead B-Man. One, two, three. So, five survival. Ah, no, he does need to be insane at the start of the showdown for Phoenix Helm. Don't let Koken tips. Really, is it? Hmm. Now I wonder how good that might actually be. Yeah, I want that extra evasion token, but I think the survival will be much more important. <laughs> Hemophobia. Uh. All right. And if the settlement has a war room, the survivors use vibration cancelers to allow them to be more productive within the reverberation area. They prepare in silence for the upcoming battle. Hey, good morning, Yoshia. You're welcome. <laughs> Have I won yet? I'm having fun. That means I'm a winner. Obviously, I have. <laughs> so each survivor may do both of the following. Repair up to 1d5 points of armor damage suffered during the hunt phase, or, and or remove one token gained during the hunt phase. So, there you go. We get to remove the accuracy tokens, or the, the negative tr tokens. And, yeah, you are on the name list, yeah? I'd be surprised if you aren't. Welcome to the Survivor Nameless, Yoshia. Huh. Have you never shown up to one of these streams yet? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I may have assumed that you already had and skipped you whenever you said something. Huh. Interesting. Either way, the order doesn't matter. Oh, no. Hmm. Interesting. Really? I, I, sir, I fucked up. <laughs> uh, hey, you could get rolled at any time now. Uh, no decision list now. Uh, yeah. Number 269. Uh,. No damage there. Only one point of damage. We can roll. We, we will roll one or higher. Uh, and one damage there. There we go. And if the settlement has storytelling, put on a play with shadow puppets. And let's see. One. One to two. The play is terrible. Nothing happens. Unfortunate. <laughs> but yes. Here we go. And now we encounter the monster. Uh and begin the showdown. There we go. Ah, nightmare tree. Anyways. Let's see. Oh yeah, everyone gets monster level survival on arrival. Yeah. Screaming antelope is someone's <laughs> OC tulpa. Oh no. This guy stinks. Eh? Oh, the, the scent on the wind? Hmm. Don't check. No! Let's see. Any arrival bonuses? Yeah, everyone gains the Horripilation status card. I may as well copy this for this. Bam. 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 Ah, uh, so yes, the final lantern's fr uh, phrenic light causes bilious anxiety. While its energy brightens your lantern, the hairs on your body bristle. Someone who was in the Tumblr MLP RP scene when you're like 13. Oh no, that makes sense. Oh yeah, you missed the you missed the watcher. <laughs> the the watcher went down in actually like less than a turn. Because uh Twilight Sword. Someone had seven Twilight Sword proficiency, I believe. So uh yeah. 
Ah, uh, let's see. Mario, two, three. Any other bonuses? No. Sorry, Swordical. Eh? Swordsel? Eh? On arrival, three insanity. There we go. Hmm. There we go. Just making sure that those are properly affecting it. Uh. And. Let's see. Not insane, unfortunately. So no bonus evasion token. Uh. And an acanthus plant there as well. And one, two, three, four. No, not four. Three. There we go. Alright. Uh. I can't this plant. Ah, only one. There's only one left in the deck. Princess Celestia. Hmm. I managed to dodge my little pony for the most part. Ah. Uh, are there only normally four in the deck? Let me just hit reset. Oh, does that reset button not work? Oh no. That should be fine. And a toppled pillar. Oh. Uh, five spaces away. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe, maybe I'll put it over here. Dodge as in, weren't a fan? Uh, a little bit of both. One, two, three, four, five. It was okay. Hmm, interesting. Five spaces away from all board edges. Uh, okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I don't want to bother with this too much. The nightmare tree is not too interesting. We could get scrap from it, actually. Yeah, and the antelope isn't that difficult. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we could totally waste turns with the, the nightmare tree. Uh, hmm. But yeah, I, I like to not think about My Little Pony. You know? Uh, acanthus plants. Hmm. Big same. <laughs> uh, six spaces away from all of this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Uh, unfortunate. Oh, I need to make more survivors. Uh, yeah, because the <laughs> we had to get unexisted. I got more in corpse. Welcome to Kingdom Death Monster. Really, was it at length? Uh, hmm. I wasn't that drunk. I can remember. That I was just bullying him about it a little bit. It's teasing. Just a little bit of teasing. Hmm. Hmm. I wasn't that drunk at that point. Yeah, and, and then I started... And, and then I put the room at, like, 50% opacity. Uh... Hmm. A anyways. It's been a while. The trick. Uh... Oh yeah, you, you died. Hmm, I guess for the second time. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, who's missing their miniature? Oh yeah, Sukova and Mario. Is that stream? Uh, it was the, it was the muck. The muck one. Hmm. I like using the Alistair model for characters that, uh, use the ranged weapons. Alright, that's a good gear grid for that. 
Ah, uh, on that B man. It's good enough. <laughs> Is he character one yet? No. Uh, what miles does this have? Rahide and unarmored. Ah, uh, elaborate. Your character doesn't. No, your character doesn't exist. You win. You good job, buddy. Now nah, whatever. And mostly the color matters. Anything funny? Oh, uh, yeah. Grand Weapon gets Old Joe. Cool. Just for fun. Just as a treat. And Kerbo Gamer. Spear. Uh... I guess there's only one Spear miniature. It's good enough. Success has been patchy. Mm. It's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, Mario can't move at all. Poor bastard. Uh, Monster should not have any extra accuracy. Hmm. I I'm really wondering why that's there. Maybe that was a mistake? See, I'm looking at the page. No, no accuracy tokens. This is the... Hmm. I guess the community edition just leaves this page alone? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, and... Uh, anything else? Hmm. Does anyone have the privilege of starting with a priority target token? No. I wish. Uh... Hmm. Range does not reach back here. Uh... This will probably be a little spicy. Everyone can perform survival actions. I'll use this to mark the bonus any action because of the god mask. And anything else? Hmm. Alright, we should be good. Oh. There we go. Cripple Gamer has spear proficiency. I should mark that properly. Uh, damn it, I took it out. There we go. Spear. Uh, it's specialization, not mastery. Uh, Mario. Everyone has bow specialization. Uh, I may as well, just in case. As a treat. And on the B-Man... Uh, Grand Whip. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He's not going to be attacking. Same with Mario. He doesn't have a it doesn't have a bow equipped. I don't need that. Uh. Oh yeah. Plus one accuracy. Ah, oh, that is marked. Okay, good. And unfortunately, yeah, I'm gonna switch off of corpse sounds to the the battle music because mm, only a little bit of corpse sounds as a treat. And there's the corpse shout out. <laughs> if you want to hear more uh more original music. In fact, show up the corpse channel on YouTube on the uh, on the 18th for even more original music. Uh hmm. Uh the VTuber Gamers. Corpse channel needs your help. Uh she needs 1k subscriptions before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> or she'll be stuck on YouTube forever. No, no, no. Uh, but yes. Into the fight. Uh, hopefully the music is balanced okay. And if everything's a treat, then nothing is. Is it? Oh, bet? Oh, I can do bets on this. I can do predictions. Uh. Do you not? No, please interact so I can convince you. Uh. You have to deal with paper bag viewers. Uh... What viewers? <laughs> uh, 
All right, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I do want to set this up. Prediction. Uh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Urge to gamble. Hmm. There we go. Will anyone die? Uh... And then in brackets. <laughs> your life savings. Uh... You're gonna bet Team Wipe. Hmm. Nah, yeah, just one minute. One minute. There we go. Alright. Uh, low quality impersonation. A deeply troubled gambling addict. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I have the urge. The urge to gamble. <laughs> uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about uh, Shadowrun and the Genesis. Alright, Shadowrun story time this, uh, Friday. No. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I don't think I can do that good of an e-ghost. I don't, hmm. He's, he's got a normal accent. It's hard to replicate. Hmm. I believe. But yes. Uh, welcome to the, the meat of the video game. Board game. So, monster has an AI deck and a hit location deck. Instead of HP, whenever you wound a monster, you you put the top card of the AI deck into the wound stack. The what? Hit location deck? Eh? Down pat. What does that mean? Eh? I don't know these. I don't know these these new these new new slang terms. Uh. Oh, yes. This monster starts with four toughness tokens. So, yeah. Monsters also have AI cards, like so. There we go. But, yes. Le legendary horns. Traits just modify the monster. Pepperoni. <laughs> what's, what's the pepperoni? Down pat is old as dirt. <laughs> I'm not older. I'm not as old as dirt, and I'm not as young as the kids these days. Except I am. I can wear Kuro. <laughs> welcome to, welcome to KDM. Uh, I'm doing well. I haven't lost the run, and I haven't won the run. So, uh, down pat is from fourteen hundred. Relatively new. <laughs> the screaming antelope is impossibly old. The monster gains plus four toughness tokens and plus one speed token. When a survivor with less than five courage ends their act adjacent to the screaming antelope, they suffer one brain damage per monster level. And when the monster is defeated, gain the legendary horns strange resource. Basic cringe epi ordering Peppa Lonely Pizza. What? C cringe. Hmm. Down, downwards, Patrick. I see. <laughs> Possibly old. Uh, and hypermetabolism is very interesting because it sucks. Uh, whenever the monster consumes terrain or gear, the monster gains plus one speed token. So, speed is the number of rolls for each attack. So, the monster's just going to go nuts. It also starts with an extra speed token, which I haven't put in yet. There we go. And it's not like until end of round, that's the whole for the rest of the fight. And Indomitable is standard for level 3 monsters. Whenever the monster attacks, is, attacks or is attacked, it stands up at the end of that. Uh, this is the this is because uh, previously you were able to just knock down monsters and just pick them apart very easily. With something like Grand Weapon Specialization. So, when attacking with a grand weapon, uh, during your act, when it, if you critically wound, the monster is knocked down. 
So you can't surge and knock the monster down in the middle of an action, but if you do it during your turn, so uh, imagine four survivors with grand weapons and uh, mm, not good for the monster. And the most annoying part about the screaming antelope is diabolical. At the end of the monster's turn, target a random survivor in the trample zone, which would be anywhere like there. It's just cardinal directions. And just full move through the target. Uh, if there's no target, full move forward. And trample. Whenever the monster collides with the survivor, they suffer damage equal to the monster's level to a random hit location, which would be three. Uh... So yeah, and also you get knocked down as per normal collision rules. Alright. Well. Oh no, I didn't realize this song included the... Wait, no. It set the loop. Why did it... Why did it go on the autoplay? What the fuck, Nintendo? Mmm... YouTube. Alright. Here we go. Uh, screaming antelope. So, monster goes first. Yeah. Uh, everything is in order. Stomp. Hmm. Ah, this is what I was hoping we wouldn't get. Something like this. So, A cards, pick target. Closest knockdown survivor. No one is knocked down. Moves on to the next one. Furthest threat in field of view, in range. So, should make a channel BGM as well. Hmm. Maybe. I've been considering doing something like that. Recently, I've just been <laughs> using clarinet covers of uh, poorly done clarinet covers. I forgot how how uh, in intense playing the clarinet actually is. Uh, my my embouchure is gone from years of uh, sitting around. But anyways. No one is a th uh, everyone is a threat. Uh, most of them are in field of view, but no one is in range. And then every monster has an instinct. Antelopes is Graze. Should play the clarinet? Yeah, it's it's just a recorder. <laughs> it's just a big recorder. That's why I picked that. It's the easiest one. Uh yes. Uh yeah, plus one speed first turn. Th this is what I was worried about. I don't want to buy an instrument. I mean, I I got this clarinet used from like someone. French horn and trumpet. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, saxophone. Saxophones sound a lot better. Uh, I've been thinking about taking mine in to get refurbished or whatever they do to instruments. Resuscitated. Notice the monster full moves to the closest acanthus plant and ends its turn. If the monster is on or adjacent to an acanthus plant, archive the terrain and heal one wound. If there are no Acanthus plants on the showdown board, instead full move in a straight line. Ah, uh, so all of those are equidistant. Just move it there and eat this. It has not taken any wounds, so nothing really happens. It just wastes its turn. Oh, actually no, something does happen. It gets a speed token. Now the monster has four speed. Hmm. The yeah, French horn is interesting. Start a campaign in the first two lion hunts started out with ground fighting. Oh hell yeah. Ground fighting's great. Uh Barbershop music on national stage. Interesting. Oh no. Hmm. I'd assume it would have been at the barbershop stage. No. Uh so Diabolical The monster has performed all of its fun stuff. Alright. That does not end the turn. So it it does get its end of turn effects. Alright. There we go. Uh it's when you end your act adjacent. Okay. Barbershop Harmony Society. <laughs> oh no, that's <laughs> don't don't give out personal information on the internet like that. No no. Hmm. I, I, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, hmm. 
Anyways. Un understandable. Uh, let's see. The, and now it's the survivor's turn. I can turn on the battle UI. So... Hmm. Ah, yes. First things first. We want to... You missed the epic bet. You fool. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Now, oh, yeah, I forgot. I can see who... Who believes and who does not believe. Uh, so yes. Cat Eye Circlet. Best piece of support gear in the game. You can spend your action to reveal the next three monster hit locations and put them back in any order. Okay, yeah, Mario has Thrill Seeker. Part of a barbershop choir. Yeah. Still. That narrows your identity down to like a few people. Hmm. Hmm. Very dangerous. Uh. Anyways. Uh. I, mm. Uh, to survival. Hmm. And action. Basically, have the home address. No, wait, no, don't do it. Uh. uh. Does he? Have, he doesn't have enough courage to avoid the brain damage. Ah, oh, Rizzo, you fool! Why are you not watching the stream constantly? I'm telling mom. There we go. So... So yeah, reveal the next three hit locations and put them back in any order. Ah, see, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, good morning, Gale. Pineapple on pizza is based. There we go. Yeah, you're already on the list. Needs to take regular breaks for personal health. Okay. Uh, I'll give you a break. Slash ban Razul. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but anyways, so the problem with super dense hit locations is... Eh, it doesn't give you the reminded text on this, but... Frail means if you if you attack and you draw a super dense hit location, the weapon breaks at the end of the attack. Community edition, so normally in core, in the vanilla game, this means that uh, the weapon gets archived, it gets put back in the box, slash deleted. However, community edition changed it so weapons have a broken state. Like so. Uh, it's much worse. Zero strength on it. But it's better than nothing. And it, and then you can repair it for one endeavor during the settlement phase. Which is much better. But yeah, pineapple and pizza is great. People are just maniacs. Uh, I should have stacked luck on a survivor. And good morning, Shady. Be true. Indeed. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're on the list. <laughs> Sweet, salty, savory. Yeah, it was inspired by Thai food, was it not? Uh, Clover Shield. If you wound, it gets a minus movement token. Uh, okay. I'll put them back in this order. Majority of them hate it because the internet told them so. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it be. Maple syrup waffle pizza. That sounds interesting. I'll have to try it just because it's funny. Hmm. I don't know. Jalapeno and bacon. Interesting. Uh, and then we can move Mario one space away like so. Ah, this is a creative idea. Garlic on pizza. That sounds great. I would love that. Vodka sauce on meatball pizza. That sounds good too. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, let's... There we go. So that was Mario's turn. Let's take Kerbo Gamers. Vodka sauce is the shit. Garlic sauce, yeah. Hmm... Oh man, <laughs> now, now, now I'm now I'm hungrier than I was a few moments ago. Ah, so he's got he's got the option to slam, to spend his full movement, uh, spend the action, uh, spend the movement, the full move forward in a straight line, 
Remove four plus spaces, stop adjacent to the monster. It suffers knockback one and minus one toughness until the end of the round. Based to cringe Canadian bacon on pizza. Eh, based. Uh. <laughs> Wait, no, Sergeant, no. <laughs> don't, don't actually look up stuff like that. And also don't post stuff like that. Uh. Don't. <laughs> uh. Wait, and this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. What that. what kids do these days. It's just. Hmm. Yeah, back in the day, you never clicked on any link that you ever saw ever, unless you knew exactly where it went. Because otherwise, you got Rick rolled. <laughs> uh, people were creative with those. It was good, uh. Good teaching moment. <laughs> so, yes, he is. He keeps he keeps putting demon dice on on my side tube, and requesting demon dice drawings. Never gonna Channel Forte 2019. Oh, I've never heard that version. Yeah, good morning, Congo. Mm -mm. You've been added to the list, haven't you? Uh. Oh, that one. Yeah, that one's good. Interesting. Uh, anyways. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, put them right there. And then that is his movement for the turn. We can spend a survival to dash to gain an extra movement and use it immediately. And we'll just use that to activate slam. And then... Yeah. Knockback and minus one toughness until the end of the round. So it's easier to wound the monster. And skewer. After you slam, you can spend your action to move one space and activate a melee weapon with plus two strength. If you wound with a spear, apply that wound roll result to the next selected hit location in this attack. What that means is... That's wrong, wrong character. There we go. If this is a... If this wounds on the first... It, it, well, you'd have to hit twice. Let's see. Two speed, hit on five or higher. There we go. Uh, damn it. It's only one hit. But I got the super dense location off, which is what I wanted. So, and plus two strength as well. So we will only have to roll a total of... Wait, did the toughness apply? Ah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, no, this is great. Uh, that person's name is. Yeah, the the music in, in Bravely Default is so good. I, I'm a bit annoyed at how much grinding I, I want to do in it. Hmm. But anyways, it's it's good. Uh, a piece of Cadbury flake cheesecake. Hmm. I've had homemade cheesecake for a while, but mm, I'm not a fan of cheesecake anymore. If you're just able to have it constantly, it's not that good. Hmm, that's my crazy opinion for today. So, the Lantern Glaive has sharp, so you add 1d10 strength to each wound attempt. So, you can't crit with the black dice, the, the sharpness dice. Oh, damn it. And if you roll a 1, it's still a failure on, on the white dice. That would have been enough enough to wound, but unfortunately, we rolled the one. So, damn, you never liked cheesecake. Okay, I'm not crazy. Hmm. But yeah. Uh. Hmm. We don't get the extra plus two strength, but we could surge and attack again. Uh, I want. Yeah, I want to draw these locations with Sukovat. One, two, three, four, five. Does he have six movement? No, he's got five. Okay, I'm not crazy. Ah, uh, because I'm yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Yeah, you sent the brownies, yeah? Uh, I've got that saved. Slice a New York cheesecake in the microwave for 30 seconds. 
Really? Interesting. I'll, I'll have to see about that. Uh, doesn't sound too bad. Ah, uh, yeah. So. The Dragon Slayer is interesting. Uh, it's got slow, so no matter how much how much of a speed bonus he has, it only rolls one dice to attack with. And devastating. It does have sharp, but he will wound on two or higher. He, he, he wounds if he doesn't roll a one, either way. It's got nine base strength and the extra d10. It's very good. Anyways, let's see if we hit. We're in the blind spot, so we get plus one accuracy. So hit on four or higher. Interesting. Now, we do have the death die. So once per round, if you have the death die, you may use one of the settlement's pulse discoveries. Microwave cheesecake. What are you going to do? Put it in the oven? Okay, maybe. Yeah, we can add... A oh, yeah, the, the level one one. Uh, add an attack roll to an attack. Like so. A four is good enough to hit. Uh, yeah, blind spot is the two spaces directly behind the monster. It's always defined here. There's one monster that has the blind spots on the spaces that it occupies, and it's very weird, and it... Hmm, that's not the worst part of the monster. No baked cheesecake. No, not cooking it, reheating it, yeah? Anyways. So, one hit. We draw one card. Ah, uh, a wound gives him minus one movement, which is very nice. Ah... Uh, We'll crit on 9 or 10, because he's got one natural luck. Just increases the range of your crits. Oh shit, really? Nice. Don't reheat no-bake cheesecake. I've never heard of a no-bake cheesecake before. No, until now. I know the idea of no-bake cakes is that you just might you make them in the microwave. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. That's the first time I heard of that. You chill it. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Fork glides through it. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, but yes, we, we drew the restless inner thigh. And we rolled a nine. We get to ignore it. Uh... Unfortunately, we ignore the reaction. Even though it's favorable, we still ignore it because we crit. We do the crit reaction instead. So, on the wound, a uh, critical wound. Persistent injury, degenerating wound. The monster's injury worsens if it moves. Whenever the screaming antelope moves, it suffers an additional wound. And discard this card at the end of the next round. So, we'll get one, we'll get one monster turn and then one more survivor turn. Now, they always cancel reactions. Uh, but yes, devastating means one extra wound. Now, yeah, it's got a crit. It's got a crit location. If it doesn't have a crit location, then it means you don't get to cancel the reaction. You can't crit there. A 10 still automatically wounds, but you can't crit. Uh... Does use both chocolate and cocoa as well. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I... Hmm. Yeah, uh, as long as it's a crit. Hmm. Interesting. But anyways. Yeah, persistent injuries also have the icon to indicate it, but... I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that would be Sukavat Patchy's turn. Hmm. Yeah, it was a move and an attack. Oh, you can move one space at the end of your turn. Oh, wait, no, Leather Boots don't have the affinity activated anymore. We have to ditch the monster grease, so now the affinity is not complete. But yeah, the puzzle piece, colored affinities or whatever, mean you have to have the ones attached to it uh, completed. Which is unfortunate. Uh, but I would like to surge with my two attackers. Uh, hmm. 
Yeah, let's try to crit on the knee as well. Let's do this. Uh, no, Crypto Gamer's on that side. Hmm. Uh, confused because of the tutorial line, its cards have an icon to indicate reactions are cancelled. Uh, yeah. It's a hard rule. Okay. Uh. Yes. Uh. I will surge. Spend one survival to perform a survival action. In this case, surge, which is gain an action and use it immediately. Uh. Attack. That's enough to hit. Bam. Draw the hit location and... Now I'll roll sharpness just for fun. Not a crit. Uh yeah, no extra luck. So two wounds. And hmm. Uh maybe I should have put a rawhide headband on Undead B Man as well. Hmm. Yo, Kerbo Gamer can surge twice. Uh, interesting. Let's see, Mario, we will. Oh, uh, yeah, check this out. So, Rawhide armor set. Yeah, one extra armor. <laughs> Rawhide is the first set that you can build, so it all the pieces only give you one armor, which is not much. And the set bonus gives you one armor, which brings it up to not much. But the set bonus is very good. When you perform a survival action, roll d10, on a result of 6+, plus, gain 1 survival. So normally, that means whenever you do something, we got a 50% chance to not spend the survival, but with the Fighting Art Thrill Seeker, you get an additional survival, so you practically have a lot of survival. It's not infinite, uh, but you can easily fail all of the rolls and not get any back. So, let's see if we get it back. We do not. And I will activate Rawhide Headband. No, I want to activate Cat Eye Circlet. I don't care what he draws next. I care about drawing the trap card. Uh, yeah, Rawhide Headband's very good. The, the set is a bit silly. It's definitely viable for the final boss. On at least one character, like support or a bow user or something. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, we'll see about that. But restless eye is a bit of a problem. First strike means you select this first, no matter what. And if the attack is insane, cancel all hits in the attack. Kerbo gamer is insane. Sukavat patchy is not. So I'd like to draw that with him. Ah. Uh... No, I already surged. Uh, I don't want to draw that. Uh, failure. Only damage to the arms. That one's fine. Yeah. Alright. Let's surge. Spend one survival. Action. Attack again. Yeah, it's like <laughs> whips. Whips. Ah, uh, yeah, End of the Unknown. Yeah, this is the, the aliens. Oh, yeah, near Automata spoilers. Uh, hit on a five or higher. That's good enough. That's two hits, actually. Yeah, this song's good. Uh, there's no penalty here, so we may, may as well do this one first. Uh, the Restless Back. Eight. That is a wound. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get a crit. And pallet. Uh, this has a reaction on a failure, so hopefully we don't get a failure. Eight, six or higher. There we go. Six is just enough to actually wound. Uh, no, no crit though. What a refined pallet. There we go. We could surge again because of God Mask. Uh, it's that a turn if it's sane, gain one survival. You can survival action. You can perform any survival action one additional time, which is very nice. 
but uh, we can't use that really. All right, and now undead bee man. I guess we could try to draw the restless eye. Yeah, just one brain damage as a treat. All right, good luck, buddy. At uh, two speed, I'll hit on five or higher. There we go. That's two hits. Hopefully we don't draw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> End of the Unknown is currently playing. Back with pizza. Green damage is your favorite treat. Uh, good morning, Quexty. I think you just showed up. I hope I didn't get it wrong. Uh. Hmm. Failure reaction. Not what I want, but whatever. So, Restless Eye. The screaming antelope's massive eyes glisten with human-like fear. If the attacker is insane, cancel all hits and end their attack. Otherwise, the attacker suffers one brain damage. So, that was Undead Demon. One brain damage. Uh, Margarita. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a good kind of it's a good kind of pizza. Hmm. Damn it! Now I really want pizza. Uh. Oh, uh, yeah. So, we've got the tool belt. Tools in your gear grid lose frail, and tools with attack profiles gain 1 speed, 3 accuracy, and sharp. It's not good for wounding at this point in the game. He's only got 2 strength, though. Uh, so we have to roll 11 total on both of these to successfully wound. Now, he doesn't have any luck, so that's not a crit. But it would have been if he had 1. But... 15 is enough to wound. Very nice. And gnarled horns. Hmm. Hopefully we don't have a failure here. Oh nice, 15 again. That's enough. Uh it just would have caused them to get knocked back. No real problem there. Oops. Hmm. Now, oh, but... Ah, shit. I forgot about this. Uh... I mean, we can dash. Because, yeah. At the end of a survivor's act... Yeah, when a survivor with less than 5 courage ends their act adjacent to the Screaming Antelope, they suffer 1 brain damage per monster level. So we just dash him away. Uh... Over here. Hopefully. Now we need to move everyone out of the trample zone for Mario. Uh, Kerbo Gamer can dash again. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Very nice. And Sukovat Pachi. Dash. One, two, three, four, five. This should be good. All right. And there we go. And on Dead B Man's turn. Hmm. Maybe I should move them close. Whatever. Anyways. Next turn. This gets passed along. Now, yeah. Now Mario has the uh, the death die. All right. So, AI card. Ravenous. Close to survival, uh, survivor, consumable gear in range. Interesting. Uh. This is not what I wanted to happen. Hmm. Let's see. Oh. Oh no, uh, Sukovats. <laughs> he lost the grease. No, that's not gear. Uh. The boss is hungry. If he eats the gear, he gets a speed token. Uh. Yeah. Undead B Man with the with the monster grease. Consumable, soluble, stinky. Incredible. And he's in range. 
I mean, you could just dash him out of range, though. Yeah? 90% dodge chance. Uh... No, it's got too ac- No, it doesn't have accuracy. Yeah, that's 90% dodge chance. Uh... Alright. So. That little arrow in the, in the middle of the card. That's, that's a flow point. So that- That is when you're allowed to use survival actions during the monster's turn. So that you can't just dash away during random parts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful song's good. Shuffle is on, right? Yeah, it is. Uh-oh. Pressed weird buttons. There we go. Yeah, the... Mm, I like the Nier Gestalt and Repl Replicant uh, OST a little bit better than Nier Automata's. I didn't have the time to go through that one as well right before the start. That crab with baby hands? There? Hmm. There is a crab on the showdown board somewhere. Ah, uh, there's one. Crab. Close to my portrait. Oh, that. Oh, it's just a monster. <laughs> uh, it's just something. Hmm. He's just vibing. That's how it goes. Ah, uh, but yes. Uh, just a monster. Who cares? Yeah. Be these famous or something? All right, check this shit out. I assume there's more monster back here. You can believe whatever you want to believe. It's not a crab mouth either. Hmm. It could be, if you believe. Anyways, uh... So, target has been picked. The only eligible target is Undead B-Man. So, we get an opportunity to dash away. And this is why you want to get dash as early as possible in a campaign. Hmm. So I want to go right here. Easy. Because now the monster will attempt to move and attack. However, uh, let's see, where do I want it? I want it right here. So yeah, now it ends its turn. All right, it, it is unable to actually attack. There you go. That's planning. Totally on purpose. Oh yeah, and whenever the monster, whenever the scream antelope moves, it suffers an additional wound. There we go. Eight wounds already. Out of 13 left. Uh, there we go. Oh, 14 left. Yeah, that dash is, is very useful. Uh, and now, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, toughness token is back on. Uh, diabolical. So either Kerber Gamer or Sukuvat Patchy. That's why I moved them right down there, specifically. Uh, I mean, I guess. Hmm. No, oh, whatever. Poor antelope. Oh, he's, get, he's getting dunked on. Constantly. Uh, red or blue. Ooh, ooh. Antelope. Oh, antelope. So whoever rolls higher gets picked. I, I usually do it that way. Seven. Alright, Kerbo Gamer it is. And there's a flow point in the trait as well. So after getting picked, you can dash. Uh, I want to be able to slam next turn. Okay, hear me out. So, dash, spend on survival. Right here. <laughs> Some patience. Uh, if you don't say wearing thin, I'm going to be a little disappointed. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's such a good pun. Damn it. Uh, how unfortunate. Can't be used. Uh, yes, I would have liked Mario to have been attacked because he can just dodge everything. 
Hmm. <laughs> uh, but yes. Now it is... Oh yeah, he took another move, so... Another wound? Hmm. But we won't get those dashes back until the start of the next turn. Uh... Let's see. Oh yeah, we don't know what the top of the... The hit location deck looks like now. I would like to rectify that. We'll take Mario's turn. Oh yeah, he can add 1d10 movement to a move. Which isn't useful right now. Hmm. But yes, let's do that. That's, uh, yeah. Cat Eye Circlet. Uh, oh, one more. Oops. <laughs> you left them in the car with the AC on and some water. Listening to their favorite music? Hmm. Ah, uh, here's the trap card. Uh, the antelope's trap is actually not bad at all. But it is still bad if you're not prepared for it. So, I'll read it off. Uh, the screaming antelope panics, its undermouth unleashing an inhuman wail. It bucks wildly and leaps into the air. The attacker is doomed, so you cannot perform any action. All survivors adjacent to the monster suffer two brain damage per monster level. Knock back five and are knocked down. So that'd be six brain damage. That's for most survivors. That's guaranteed a uh, brain trauma. I, mean, I guess Kerbal Gamer could take it. Uh, I got meant. Oh, you're always suffering six brain damage. How do you do that? Hmm. Don't play with antelopes. But actually, though, pretty much all flavors of wildlife are are very dangerous. Yeah, I think deers kill more people than most other things. Yeah, yeah, you just pop it with a ranged weapon. Even just a spear is enough to just negate the trap entirely. Watch this stream a lot. Don't dab on me. Dab on you slash timeout. Uh, anyways. The monster lands on its belly and it begins to slide on its teeth. Turn the monster directly away from the attacker and full move forward in a straight line. On collision, non-deaf survivors gain one random disorder in addition to normal survivor er, collision rules. <laughs> Leaps in the air. It, it slides away on its teeth on the underbelly. Hmm. Restless chest. That one's fun. Uh, oh, I want to draw this one as well. Because it still has this until the end of this round. The, the, the permanent, er, persistent injury to suffer even more wounds. If we're being cheesy... I would I would maximize the crits for this fight and just make the fight go on as long as possible and just just farm crits because most of the crit locations have gain one screaming antelope resource which is fantastic but I don't want to waste everyone's time like that ah uh, so anyways uh let's see oh this moves one space as well oh at least both do it in, in, incredible. If I could draw all three of these these cards, that would be sick. But yeah, not, not bumped into you. Slid over you. <laughs> uh, which is fantastic imagery. Uh, and we can move Mario. Right here. No, I want to move him here. Uh, Sukavat Patchy. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. We could dash to get into the blind spot for an easier time hitting. That seems like a good use of survival, actually. There we go. So we'll hit on four or higher. And let's go. <laughs> Thank you for the raid racker. You made me roll a one. You monster. No. <laughs> Uh, there you go. Shout out, Riker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what were you doing? It was uh, I don't remember actually. I saw it. Happy to ruin my rolls. All right, banned. No. <laughs> Surge and we'll attack again. A equals B. Iso Lang game. And we hit. Mind bending. What do you mean, Iso Lang? 
esoteric language. Hmm. Not a genre that I've seen much of, <laughs> if that's what it's supposed to be. Interesting. Oh, programming. Programmering? Programmering, with an A at the end. There you go. Anyways. Restless chest. Let's see if we wound here. If we crit, that would be nice. Damn, only a regular wound. There we go. We'll move forward in a straight line. And... Because of Restless Inner Thigh, another wound for free as a treat. And now, Turbo Gamer's turn. Baba, Baba is you for real gamers. Really? Huh. There we go. Equals B game. Interesting. One instruction, Issa Lang. Issa Lang. Interesting. Baba Lang as an Issa Lang. These are silly words. You're just making everything up. Don't insult Baba. Baba's he's cool. Uh oh yeah, I took Mario's turn. Eh? There we go. And Patchy's turn. Ah, uh, Cripple Gamer. Baba is good. Are we going on Aru? Uh, is the game bling then? Only a little bit. Uh... I could draw two AI cards if I do this. I'd rather not. I want to miss once. I want to only hit once this attack and hit once next attack, but... If I hit both times, so be it. That was you and push and win. Based? No. <laughs> Alright, let's move there, and let's spend one survival to dash. Mm, but yeah, welcome to Kingdom Death Monster. Bam. Push on one space with the, the slam. And we'll move one space, and we'll just move this way instead. And skewer. Alright. Spend our action to do that. Kingdom Death Mozzarella. Hmm. I want to try making homemade mozzarella. I've done it before. I've tried it before. It didn't succeed too well. Hmm. Good morning, RCL. I want to stay up and do laundry, but your body is saying sleep. Oh, wait, no, you already showed up. Uh, good night. <laughs> ah, we got two hits. Unfortunate. Nah, sleep tight. Don't let the, the big bags bite. Ah. We don't get maximum carnage. Uh, it's easier to two people. Well, Baba's you. Ha. Huh. Baba's you and Dark Souls. <laughs> That's how gamers work, yeah. But yeah, I'll take the luck. And I'll need it. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, attacker's doom, survivor's adjacent. No one is adjacent. Turns face directly away. Full move forward. And sweet. Takes one wound for moving. And trap card reshovels the hit location deck like so. Take an hour nap and do the laundry. Probably not a bad idea. Yeah, I did the wound there, yeah. And I don't think we're gonna get another wound in. So what I want to do. Eh? Get your grandma to switch with Animal Crossing. Animal Cross Up. <laughs> Everyone's favorite fighting game. Uh. Damn, that was Kerbo Gamer's turn. You can't dash to get in range again, unfortunately. But. Let's see. Should be. What do you mean, beat it? Uh. I've only played the Switch one. So that that seems like one of those games like comp uh, like uh, a company <laughs> like Pokemon where they just take out a little bit of features sometimes. Oh, I forgot to gain two survival. Yeah, Mario's got the death pact. So at the start of your act, you gain one survival. 
Thrill Seeker bumps that up to two. But yeah, spend one. And he should be down to eight. Yeah. Let's see if we get it back. Grandma still plays Wii Fit. Oops. So we gain two back for Rawhide bonus. Huh. Yeah, the Nintendo... I mean, yeah, I've heard that Wii Fit was used at retirement homes a lot because, uh... Yeah, getting... Being active is very important. Especially for old people. Oh yeah, I wanted to surge and now activate Rawhide Headband. I always want to save that for after the monster finishes getting beat on. Because... Now we get to choose which one, and we'll get to know for sure who's, uh, who's getting hit. Mental and physical- oh yeah, old people and children. Oh no. Oh, Skewer! Ah, this is a legendary AI card. It's rarer, I guess. Yeah, low-level monsters don't even include- oh, only level 3 antelopes include the legendary AI cards. Paint off everything for the four characters, caught everything. Had to get a Game Boy for the exclusive content. Covered acres in money. Taste. <laughs> okay, that seems like winning. Uh, but yes, this this will disembowel you at the end of the attack. No, oh, thank you for the <laughs> anonymous sub to to corpse. Uh, based. Uh. Oh. Uh, let's, let's see. Uh, I'd rather deal with Beck. <laughs> no! <laughs> you mouse! No, you just did that. Thank you for that. No. You monster. <laughs> uh, screen cap it. As if I don't already have a screen cap of, of corpse using that emote. Just to lower my hubris. <laughs> uh. Hmm. See, Kerbo Gamer is likely to get targeted. I guess we could surge and block with the beacon shield. That wouldn't be too bad. And we just have to dash Sukavat out of the way. Yeah, Mario's not doing too much tanking, and neither is Undead B-Man. Uh... Yeah, I don't want to risk disembowelment. Uh, Undead B-Man. Uh, we can actually activate the Nightmare Tree. Let's see, hold on, give me a sec. Uh, I mean, this is a good enough spot. This is good enough, uh, this is... Yeah, this is a good enough spot. So... <laughs> Nightmare Tree. Ah, uh, here's the AI card, uh, oh, terrain card. Yeah, obstacle, blocks field of view. Impassable, cannot move through it. Monsters can. And you can activate it. Roll 1d10. Only once per showdown. For each survivor. Uh, one. However, we do get to add two to the ro roll result because of screaming bracers. Which brings it up to just knocked down. Damn it. Loggers. At two out of ten. <laughs> no, no, no. Two out of five. Anyways, is that everything? Hmm. Ah, Kerbo Gamer, just in case. Spend one survival, surge, and activate Beacon Shield to block two. Ignore the next, uh, two hits the next time I'm attacked. There we go. So, hit next turn, it'll reset all of these, and pass that on to the next survivor. Ah! I can actually use something other than just add an extra attack roll. So you get to choose to use these after doing whatever. So at least for attack and strength. So if I so if I would fail to wound, especially on a location that I don't want to fail on, I can just pop this. <laughs> the bacon shield. It is called the bacon shield, coll colloquially. Uh, we can have Undead B-Man stand up. Because we have we have a fist and tooth master, or we had one, so everyone gets to stand if knocked down at the start of the monster or survivor turn. Once per round. So if he gets knocked down again, then we can't have him stand back up. Anyways, monster will draw the card to the turn. 
back kick. No one is in the blind spot, but Kerbo Gamer is the closest threat. So move and attack. And the uh, turn monster, so target is in blind spot. And one speed. Goofy colloquial names. Yeah. Uh, monster has four speeds, so that's five dice. Oh yeah, and plus two damage. So that would be five if it hits. He's got plenty of armor. Unless he takes two hits to the same location. So... Oh yeah, it hits on three plus. He's got two evasion. No monster accuracy. So... Five or higher. That's four hits. Interesting. We get to ignore two of them because we use block two. And we can dodge to ignore a hit in an attack. And because of God Mask, we get to use our survival ability a second time. It will dodge again. And there we go. Everything has been ignored. Easy. You call Minecraft Meat Boat? Mince Raft. Hmm. Minecraft. Uh, is a classic. Uh, let's see. Ah, he could get trampled still. Like some wine with that cheese. Maybe. Yeah, I would actually. Uh, but yes, now Kerbo Gamer, Sukova, Patchy, and Under. I am spending survival. I am using resources. That that costs three survival. That one wasn't cheesy. I did spend three, right? Yeah, I should have been at ten before that. <laughs> uh, never was too big of a fan of wine. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. So, Kerbo Gamer and Sukovat or Undead B Man are all in the trample zone. So whoever rolls the highest will be targeted. There we go. Oh. Roll off again. Whoops. Eight. So, eight. Sukovat Patchy. Okay, there we go. That's good. So, Sukovat. Spend one survival and dash. This way. There we go. So, Screaming Antelope has already targeted Patchy. Right? Does not interact. Uh, there we go. That was all of its movement. Alright, and now, Survivor turn. Easy. Let's take Mario's turn first. Get that sweet, sweet two survival. And... Cat Eye Circlet. My favorite. Delicate inverted knee. Mm. Oh, this should be back. Yeah, at the end of... Yeah, no, during the monster's turn. Uh, Wait. No, wait, trigger the trap. Yeah, discard it. Okay. Yeah, we triggered the trap during our turn. So then the monster... Yeah, that would have been in the discard pile. After the trap? Yeah, at the end of the survivor turn. There we go. Uh, inverted knee. So it's not in here anymore, unfortunately. Hmm. This one's fun if we crit. Restless Hoof. Uh, you have to spend an action to retrieve your lost weapon before it can be used again if you fail. And Giant Tonga. Either brain damage or insanity. Oh, and minus two toughness. Hmm. Maybe... Hmm. None of these will move the antelope away. Yeah, we won't be able to hit with Kerbo this turn. Unfortunately. You see a default configuration for VM audio. Every three minutes, you hear electronic screech. Uh, welcome to Linux, baby. Uh, every time I open, like... Discord and some other apps or websites and stuff like that. They, I don't know what the what, what's wrong with this, but uh, 
something called Speech Dispatcher ends up messing up my computer, the, the audio, so everything's like scrambled. Sometimes when I open up the, uh, the task manager or whatever, it'll stop. It, it'll start behaving out of fear, but other times it won't. I should look at, I should look for that. When I go to post in the secret bank or no, when I go to look at the, the kingdom death monster discord, when I go to lurk, it's the only one I'd bother with. <laughs> no, uh, Discord is kind of lame. Uh, Kingdom Discord monster. No. No, that's... No. The real answer is... Uh... No, I'll save that for later. There is a real answer. No, I, I want to save that one for later. Uh... I'd rather have destroyed hoof. There we go. Based a cringe Discord. Cringe. He's the real one. So. Uh, MTG The Source, I believe, is the legacy forum. Yeah. Mumble? What the fuck? Oh, yeah, MTG The Source. Uh, it. It's not doing too hot nowadays, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh sad. I can see one viewing the deck to beat section, two people viewing the established decks, one viewing new and developmental, three viewing format and article discussion. Now, I never used Mumble or TeamSpeak or Raid Call. Uh, Xbox 360 party chat and PS4 party chat. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, Mario, uh... Move him there. Alright, we'll go into the blind spot with Patchy. Trillo. Uh, but yeah, all, all the discussion for stuff like that moved to Discords. Also, I, I do not like the idea of Oh, if you want if you want the uh, the patch notes, just go to the just join the official Discord for this thing. I don't care. I don't want to join Discord. I just want to look at a forum or a publicly available thing. I don't want to make an account. Found a ring. Meh. Like the movie? In the blind spot? Anyways. Oh yeah, that's that's Kerbo Gamers to use. Oh, he can get there if he adds extra movement. Yeah, it sucks. Anyways, let's oh yeah, that was Mario's turn. Let's attack with Sukovat Panchi. Uh Dragon Slayer, blind spot, so four or higher. There we go. We still haven't gotten a perfect hit. Oh, if he critically wound. Oh, I forgot to knock him down. We need to put every online community in the hands of a single company. A single company that, uh, yeah, and make sure that they can look at everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Discord's dog shit search function. Mm hmm. The, one person tried defending Discord and said that it was the search function was good. I don't know if I believe that. Ah, we crit. Gain one screaming antelope resource. And affect some AI cards. Back kick, definitely. Oh, you can right click to put things down. Interesting. It's straight up broke. Okay, never mind. Uh, I think it was Bonzel. I, I will make a call-up post on my twitch.tv and say Bunzel defended Discord. <laughs> I could be wrong, don't don't take that as weird. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, did I put that over here? No, I put it over here properly. The first things after you enter Discord is search for your own name. Really? Is that what you're supposed to do? You've already posted your twit longer. No! Yeah, it's, it's okay. It, it works well enough for collabs. Uh, but... Just... For community. Whatever. No bueno. So the monster gets knocked down. Unfortunately, at the end of the attack, it'll get back up. But you do get a survival opportunity whenever the monster is knocked down. 
Man, Cooper came in. No, he, he dodged twice. No, he can totally dash to get in. I'm stupid. Anyways, we'll do that. Dash. Uh. Hmm. No, I won't. It's not worth it. Uh, does Undead Bee Man. We could try to wound with Undead Bee Man. It might not be worth it, though. Hmm. Buy 40 visual novels and all of a sudden that's all Steam recommends. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, and proper archiving. I... The real reason I hate it so much. Okay. No, I go to Entity at the source. Okay, I click Establish Dex. I go to I go to Goblins because where the hell so where, where else would it be? File Goblins. Let's see. Ah, is it still is it Deck to Beat now? I hope so. Probably not. Uh, I don't have it bookmarked on this account. Hmm. Let's see. There we go. File Goblins. Last post is in August. Uh, should stop at 15. 15 what? Oh, visual novels. Yeah, like, I'll say yesterday. Oh, yes, yesterday the thread was at, it was at uh, page, like, 92. It's at 96 now. Okay, I just go to page 92 and I read from there. Discord. <laughs> I, I, I very much enjoy having to scroll up or just go older messages and scroll down and if you ever leave that page or have to refresh you'll never know where the hell you were this, uh, this, mm -mm. I'm not a fan of the UI for the things that I'm interested in Interesting. anyways uh, monster gets back up at the end of the attack unfortunately I believe hmm I'll check that rule anyways yeah this is yeah that is applying properly Double checking. What's the music? Uh, really default. This is Serpent eating the ground. The the final boss theme. Uh, let's take Undead Bee Man's turn and let's see. Let's activate the Acanthus plant here. Must you checked? You have zero. Paste. Uh, but yes, I can't this plant. Four plus two. Five, yeah, there we go. We get the five to seven result. Find something tasty, consume it. If you do, one survival. And archive the terrain. There we go. May as well. And then move. One, two, three, four, five. Gotta play EDH versus Beg. Cockatrice. <laughs> uh, I never figured out how to get any of that kind of stuff working. There we go, let's go here, one, two, three, four, five, cool. And let's dash with Kerbal Gamer. Spend the one survival. All right. The slam. Monster suffers knockback one. And I'll move one space towards. Alex search function makes discords look helpful. Okay, yeah, fuck, fuck out, look. Search for an address. Exact string, it brings up literally Every other similar address? Oh, that doesn't sound fun. That doesn't sound fun at all. Anyways, Lent and Glaive. Four or higher, due to blind spot. There we go. Perfect hit as well. No bonus for that, yeah? Nah. No. Oh, I forgot to do that spear specialization nonsense. Ah, shit. I may have forgotten early iron as well. Hopefully that didn't matter. But yes, uh, drop two cards. All right, 200 properties in the development trying to find an email relating to one. Ah, uh. <laughs> smart the install just tells you to figure it out. Yeah, hmm, I haven't figured out how to use something like Xmage safely. I, I expect it to just like use your IP address so you won't know. I saw everyone will just know who you are or whatever. Anyways, yep. Oh yeah, the monster should have minus one toughness token. There we go, I'll do it like that so I can easily tell what's going on. So, 
here's the fun thing with skewer. Uh, here, here's what that weird bit of text means. If you wound with a spear, apply that wound ro roll result to the next selected hit location this attack. So, I got uh, 16, whatever. That is enough to wound. So, well, 16 plus 4, so 20 total. Uh, yeah. Monster has 15 toughness. It's more than that. So, we successfully wounded. All right, we use 16 for this one as well. Ah, so here's an interesting edge case. If I had chosen this one, and then... <clears throat> oh, hold on, I'm gonna cough. There we go. Ah, uh, at the 8 and 10. Oh uh, yeah, Microsoft, Microsoft just sucks. <laughs> They're not that good. It was forged from the Simply Magic Forum. Moved to GitHub. Huh. Yeah, I've heard that X-Mage is good. It does have a rules engine in it. So it's... Yeah, you either go full rules engine, even if you have to use the, the, the Moto... Uh, the Moto interface. Or just do Tabletop Sim. <laughs> just, just go with Tabletop Sim or something silly like that. Ah, uh, but anyways. So if we chose this location first... Did I actually move the wound card over? I don't think I did. Did I? Uh, I assume. I'll, I'll assume I did. So if we chose this one first, and we wounded just barely, because it's got my C toughness, we would have used the the wound result that wouldn't have wounded on a regular hit location. Anyways, uh, wound roll result is even. One brain damage if the result is odd. Suffer one insanity. Or gain one. Uh. I think that includes the strength. Either way, it doesn't matter as long as we do it cons consistently. Uh, so yeah, that's 20 total. Which is even. Uh, one brain damage. Incredible. There we go. And we can surge to attack again. Oh wait, no, he's he's got the lantern glade. Yeah, plus nine. I guess he'd gain one insanity instead. Yeah, he only needs to roll six total. It would have been four total, yeah. He definitely would have wounded, yeah. Uh, surge, spend a survival, attack again. Would you crit twice? I believe so, yeah. Hmm. Well, I'll have to look into the exact rules. But anyways. Yeah, let's attack again from the blind spot. There we go. Uh, he's he's probably gonna get targeted again. Uh, unfortunate. Now we can move Mario adjacent. He gets knocked down. Uh, one hit. Restless shoulder. Uh, turn to face and then move one space away. If we wound. Interesting. So yeah, we need to roll six or more total. Yeah? It's a wound. Only three AI cards left. Yeah, and that one as well there. Alright. So... Oh yeah, on a wound, your blow clips the screaming antelope's shoulder, and it jumps back. Turn to face the attacker, then, without turning, move the monster one space directly away. Cancel all hits direct- er, all out of range. Alright. Should just get tabletop sim. I mean, it works. It's only twenty bucks, and you get to play infinite board games. Even though some of them are a little clunky on it. But uh, Mario. Uh, we can dash. I could have used an extra attack roll. Unfortunate. He's not very fast. There we go. Now he's as close as Kerbo Gamer, so if the monster says closest closest threat in range, we can choose Mario. Wait, actually, no. Hold on. Uh, let's surge first. I forgot to spend the survival as well. So, do we get it back? We do. We gain two survival. Uh, another big pour. 
Fair enough. <laughs> More than acceptable. There we go. Rawhead headband. Lone Rampage. All non-deaf survivors suffer one brain damage. One damage per monster level to every hit location. Oh, all knockdown ones. All standing survivors suffer one damage per monster level. Bash and knockback seven. Or in heat. God damn it. <laughs> uh, so unfortunately, we're drawing this one. Unless we dash and attack with Undead B-Man. Yeah, we already took Tsukovats and Triple Gamers, yeah. Yeah, so. When this comes into play, monster gains plus one damage token and draw an AI card. So if we put them... No, no don't, do it. don't do it like that. So we put them back like this, or whatever. Oops. So the monster would draw this one and then just draw this one still. Uh, and then whenever the monster performs graze, its large undermouth babbles excitedly. All non-deaf survivors suffer one brain damage per monster level. Not good. And when the monster performs graze, all non-deaf insane survivors begin to cry and are knocked down. Interesting. Looks like we're doing the lone rampage. We could just dash out of the zone. Fortunately. Uh, we just dash B-Man out. Let's see, what's the range? Four, square, one, two, three, four. Ah, uh, the bug. I almost forgot about the bug patch. We want to get that before the end of the fight. Uh, who else has a dash left? Oh yeah, Mario. Mario! Uh, spend one, dash. Do we make a profit? We do. Nice. Two spaces, just... Wait, is that not enough? Uh, he'll have to dash again. Incredible. Now... Alright, now it's the monster's turn. This gets passed on. And extra action gets reset. Let's see. Alright, monster draws an AI card. Lone Rampage. Uh, the monster unleashes an awful wail to signal its terrific rampage. No one is deaf. So, we've got the, the brain injury box. So no one's... Is that per monster level? Ah, uh, just one. Okay. There we go. But yes, insanity is your brain armor. In case you were not aware. Uh, Agumar Junko. Welcome to... Oh, uh, is that Intimidate? No, it's not. Your music has summoned you. It, it's, a, it's a very good soundtrack. Highly recommended. <laughs> but yes. Welcome to fighting the antelope while uh, alien manifestation plays. Alright, and now we get a, a flow point. Mario can dash out of the way. Near and dear. Near and dear to my heart. Obviously. Uh, there we go. Now, I guess here is a little bit better. Uh, it's only one damage per monster level, but it's better to not pick any at all. Uh, the monster's gonna go here. Let's see. Right there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we could put Kerbo right there. Alright. Dash. And. Heard you say that in particular, but about insanity being brain armor at least 80 times. Yeah. Mm, what about brain hurdy? Do you remember that line? <laughs> uh, brain damage is not damage. Dash with Sukumat. There we go. Right here. Perfect. Yeah. Alright. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Kerbo Gamer. Never mind. I'll put him here instead. Uh, where was he? Right here? Yeah, I'll put him right here. 
I don't think there's any way to, to get the maximum effect here. Damn. Hmm. But yes, now no one is in the zone of death. Nothing happens. Uh. Alright. And now, end of the turn. Diabolical. No survivors are in the trample zone, so full move forward. There we go. Alright. Survivor turn. Easy. Uh, I want the. I definitely want the wound this turn. Alright. Can I sick it? Nice. No trap card. So, furry tail. Restless ear. And the restless muzzle. Brain damage is not damage. December 13th, 2021. Ah, uh, hmm. Keep the dates for all of them. No. <laughs> uh, if only. That'd be interesting. Uh, knocking them down isn't too interesting. Yeah, none of these have reactions either. May as well put that one on the bottom. Hmm. It would draw AI card. Instead, on a result of 8 plus, confuse itself and moves forward in a straight line. That one makes predicting what the monster's gonna do very annoying. I don't really want the crit there, and I want the crit here. Not only does it give us a resource, but it gives the monster a minus one accuracy token. Very good. Alright, and Mario can move away. Now here's right here. Uh. You can move closer as a treat. Alright. Retail. Oh. Alright, patchy. Right there, stand on the acanthus, and... The monster is almost dead. Uh, I mean, we could still- we could always lose a survivor to anything. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised Karagi, uh, Karagi 2.0 has the- has the tail. There we go. Ah, there's a hit. Alright, furry tail it is. Three is enough to wound. <laughs> you strike the magnificent bushy tail. No crit though, unfortunately. So there we go. And we're wounding, but the deck is empty. Try one more. There we go. Uh, yeah, I marked off the surge and spent the survival. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Alright, Kerbo Gamer it is. Move there. Yeah, he's got enough courage. Alright, and... Dash. Yoink. Knock back one. Uh, and we can move him... Mm, this way. Ah, uh, towards is okay. The fun time you had with the friend and campaign? Hunt Antelope level 2. Touched the stove too much and got a level 2 lion fight instead. Oh. Oh, Antelope lantern you too. Oh, yeah, that one's not worth it. I know I know the hunt event you're talking about. It's usually not worth it. Uh, put him here or here? Hmm. I'll... Make sure he's not adjacent. Yeah, that should be good. Oh yeah, end of Patchy's turn, we can move him one space. Like so. Because of, uh... No, we can't. No, he stays there. Damn it. We'll have to dash him out. Ah, we can't. Damn it. Finished an anime called The Hike Story. Huh. First I've heard of that. But yeah, no, the, the the antelope corpse or whatever isn't worth it. Uh, there we go. This is my PNG bag? What do you mean? This is me. Oh, that looks like it's sad. Damn. Uh, yeah, let me pull up the hunt event. Maybe it was the one that we skipped. No, that's teething. That one's good. Stampede, no. Uh, dead antelope. There we go. 
scent of rotting meat wafting from a hulking corpse. Uh, yeah. You can get one ran one vermin, two antelope, and just a, uh, what was that, 40% chance of a, of a white lion. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, no, I'm not crazy. Hey, Komodo got three. I, I see it. Hmm. That definitely looks like something that has a horrible ending. Like, everyone dies. Hmm. Oh, I see. <laughs> good morning, Philip, my butt. Uh, good morning, Philip. Welcome to the survivor name list. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Who else? Interesting. Uh, y you missed. You missed that number 269 by one. Unfortunately for you. Anyways, let's make those attack rolls. Oops, it's screwdriver. Oh no, is he, is he, is he famous? Ah, that's two misses. Damn it. Uh, we can surge to attack again. Uh, that's one hit. Unfortunate. Oh, yeah, he's got minus one toughness. I did note that, yeah. Uh, that's not good enough. No! Restless gear. You saw one of those characters? Hmm. Yeah, de definitely no one survives. There's no way. Uh, but yes, uh... With Kerbal Gamer's turn. Now under B-Man. Oh yeah, the bug patch. So, roll D10. Let's see what we get. One. We get to add two. Three. There we go. Oh, the insects scatter, leaving their meal behind. Gain one random basic resource. Archive this terrain. Nice. Uh, one monster organ. You can eat it. It doesn't do anything. Eh? You're getting me down pat. Interesting. <laughs> now, uh... Mario still has his surge. She has heterochromia. Oh, is that like an ancient, is that an old like Japanese thing where like people with heterochromia just get the uh, sad endings in anime? One, we don't get the survival back, but yeah. Let's see. Back kick or ravenous? Uh, Mr. Sukovat is in the back. Hmm. Ravenous is annoying though. Nah, both of these would target. Uh, destroyed hoof though. Yeah, get fucked. <laughs> the screaming antelope's lame limb gives out. It is knocked down. Main character, and that is voiced by Aoyuki. Ah, interesting. Uh. Oh yeah, bug patch. Gone. I really want to... Oh yeah, I forgot to get one survival every turn <laughs> with, uh, because of the god mask with, uh, Kerbo. Whatever. It's good enough. Uh... Alright. Yeah, next turn. Hatchy's got the, the extra... <laughs> the extra attack roll. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, we could just kill it right now. I might want to. I do kind of want to grab an Acanthus, but nah, let's do it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the monster draws an AI card. Uh, target Sukavat. Uh, the card is in play. So if we manage to wound right now, the monster just dies. Because Devastating one. Oh no, it's, no, he's got two left. Hmm, I mean, we could easily do it. Uh, let's not. Let's... 
Yeah, we can take one more turn. Uh, there we go. So, knock down. Uh, I will surge and hit this location, though, right now. Oh, yes. While the monster is knocked down, all attack rolls hit on three or higher, regardless of any modifiers. Six. That's a hit. There we go. Restless Muzzle. Eight. Not a crit. That is a wound, though. That crit would have just knocked them down. All right. Oh, I didn't know. No, no, no. Those don't have to be face up. That should be face down, so you don't know. Uh, I guess that'd be... Whatever. All right, and now Diabolical. Uh, gets up at the end of the attack. Let's see who gets targeted. Everyone but Undead D-Man. I want to get one Acanthus for Hoarder. Uh, 10 green Mario. He's getting run over. All right. Patchy dash. All right. Full move through. And knocked down. And three damage to the... <laughs> this is the first time someone's taken damage this fight. To the body. All right. He's got two armor. And there, there goes his light injury box. Uh, if he if he got hit again, if he gets hit for say three damage again, that would take off the heavy injury box, and there's two damage left over. Uh, so he'd roll a severe injury, and then if he takes any damage after that, he just rolls a severe injury for each instance of damage. Not good. Uh he can stand right back up at the start of the survivor turn. Let's take undead V man first, and go here let's let's start picking grass so yeah five plus two seven that's still only just one survival unfortunate i'll surge spend on survival activate the other acanthus come on there we go seven plus two is nine survivors are touching grass it, it, insanity goes down. Uh, yeah, eight plus. Gain one fresh Acanthus strange resource. Search. There you go. So, you can use this during the fight to fully heal a hit location. But, it's a resource, so we can save it for later as well. Alright, and... I can't actually get into range for one of those. Alright. Let's take Mario's turn. Guess what? Can't I circle it? Remove any guesswork. Let's see. Arm damage. Spend an action before you can attack again. Don't, don't touch the grass? Really? Or ferocious spasm. Basic action. Oh, that's the worst. The yeah, grass keyboards are a bit of a silly idea. Those are only on failure. Now you can spend one survival to ignore the damage. Ah, but this can give you a resource if you crit. It's only got back kick left. I'm not gonna do silly stuff. Uh, Mario can surge. Oh, he should be at 15. Yeah, go down to 14. He surged to touch grass. Oh, eight? Yeah, eight plus. Fresh Acanthus, baby. Let's go. Uh, there he is. Hey, yeah, you get, to, you get the... Wait, no, I didn't get the survival back. I forgot what I rolled. Whatever. Uh, and... We could surge with Kerbo Gamer. I mean, dash. I don't think we need to. Alright, patchy. Right. One, two. And attack. That is a hit. I will add an extra attack roll to this attack. Unfortunate. Alright. 
the restless tiny hands. Uh, hopefully you don't fail. Nice, a crit. Yeah! <laughs> See, been maxing pays off a little bit. Gain one random screaming antelope resource. All right. Ah, large flat tooth. When you gain this, a survivor of your choice gains plus one insanity. Uh, I'll give it to Undead Bee Man. There we go. But, there we go. One wound. Devastating. One more wound. There are no AI cards left in the deck or discard, and I'm wounding the monster. It is dead. Easy. All right. We did it. The gamers won. <laughs> uh, so, aftermath. Two hunt experience, one weapon proficiency level, and a bunch of resources. Stocks. I right, get my noodles. Oh, yeah, but not water? Wait a minute. Don't, don't use Coca-Cola for your keyboard. <laughs> uh, but yes, when the monster is defeated, any survivors with 20 plus insanity are driven mad by the monster's death wail. They vanish, screaming into the darkness, never to be seen again. Oh yeah. The rewards. Who was right? Will anyone die? No. What, what monster is this, and what monster lore? Oh yeah, I didn't read it this time. Mm -mm. The screaming antelope. But yes. There once was a fearsome monster that was trained by the hand to be a steed for the goblin. However, upon smelling its new master, the monster's mind shattered and it ran into the unknown, foaming at the mouth and biting the noses off the stone-faced floor. There you go. There's the lore. Hug? Nah. Antelope gives one. Yeah. That's the trade-off. Yeah, 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 I mentioned it. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh... The, the, the level 3 monsters are much more balanced now. It's got rabies. Yeah, pretty much. It's got ticks, too. Like any good, uh, servid. Curvid? Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, only stone noses. But yes. Uh... Yeah, the antelope does not give weapon proficiency very well. It gives a ton of resources. The, the white lion does give you better weapon proficiency and a ton of endeavors if you have Saga. Uh, and then the phoenix gives you slightly more resources for beating it. Uh, oh yeah. And you can get Timeless Eye and Heal Blindness. But, yeah, and you get three weapon for proficiency. But it's the Phoenix. So it's not easy. I think that was the first Screaming Antelope. Zombie D Oh yeah, that's real. Wait, no. Is that is that one of the real ones? Or is that just for funny stories on the internet? Where the deer just, like... Rams its head into a rock, and everyone, uh, everyone says it's funny. No. Uh, ah, uh, how much? There we go. Six basic, eight screaming, two vermin, one coffin bone. Because of a prion. Uh, I've heard prion diseases are the scariest thing. So, ah, uh, let's. <laughs> Let's grab them all at once. Don't eat the brain or the spinal cord. Yeah, that's what I've heard. It's not really a good idea. Is it even transmissible? I believe so. Same thing with, like, mad cow disease. It is if you eat the brain or spinal cord. Okay. Incredible. There we go. Two vermin. And... 
black lichen and... Oh yeah, the white lion doesn't give you black lichen. Yeah, coffin bone and black lichen. What do you do? Perish. Uh, coffin bone and black lichen. There we go. Nice. What do we get? Uh, not as many organs as I hoped for. <laughs> I seen cockroach and a sword beetle. Die. You tried cow brain once. You fool! The antelope always had the belly mouth. Or did it grow it? It probably always always had it. I know the hands are... Actually, I don't know about the antelope's hands. Uh, most of the like weird hands on everything are hand parasites. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Ina saying. Uh, sport infestation track is full. No! <laughs> uh, I still haven't read that. Mm. Yeah, we could give up the hiss hissing crockroach. Crockroach, no. Uh, oh yeah. Anything. Uh, screaming brain is funny. Uh, excuse me? Nah, it's, it's an expansion that isn't out yet. Which is, uh... Has been the way that it's been for a while. Because, uh... Feature creep on the gambler's chest. Risking it all. What, e eating brain? Hmm, interesting. Uh, large flat tooth? Yeah, another one, one insanity. Uh... I'll put it on Sukovat. Hmm. Hmm. A little disappointing. Anyways. Uh, for the hoarder trigger. Uh, archive the... The cockroach. There we go, one courage. Oh yeah, everyone gets... Two hunt experience and one weapon proficiency. Yeah, all, all the stretch goals. Yeah. Egg is the, ge the Genesis nerd? What? Don't, don't you mean... It's an e-ghost. Yeah, please uncomment. Uncomment, unlike, unsubscribe. One grand weapon proficiency. Uh, didn't wound with anything. One spear proficiency. Hey. Yeah, the auto saves, that's what it is. That's what's... Messing up the, uh, the game. There we go, and there we go. Ah, uh, everyone has four hunt experience now. I could take these guys out on a phoenix hunt. Actually, these guys might be better, because they... <laughs> they have very little hunt experience. They won't get, the uh, unexisted from a simple one age token. But anyways. We get all of these. God. Hold on. These got used up last time. Move these over here. The ones in storage. That there. These aren't very organized. Uh. And there we go. This should fit. Ah, not really. No! Bone, organ, hide. One less chance for deja vu. Uh. Clean mists? I've already drawn that, but it didn't, uh. It didn't pay out, so to say. So to speak. It's a lot of hide. Organ. Bone, organ, organ, hide, bone, 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 beetle, black lichen. Eh? Anyways. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't mark down this. Screaming Antelope level 3. And we're gonna get lights in the sky, but first we have to draw the... the event for the year. Yeah, last year was was clinging mists. We did not get the 1 to 3 result. Oh wait, no. Uh, what was it? I don't know, 8, 9, 10 is the new game plus. Uh... Anyways. Roll 10 for the Kingsman event. You lost the... No. Uh... No. I don't know. If you draw it and it's already on the timeline, you... you, you draw a new one. I know that. Uh, you can't get... you can't get the same event twice. Alright. Hmm. Aren't they cold? What do you mean? I'm cool, if that's what you're asking. Uh, there we go. Triathlon of Death. Ah, this one's interesting. I'm wearing flimsy clothes. Doesn't mean I can't have a heater on. Doesn't mean I go outside. Oh no, it didn't work? No! Don't freeze me. Uh, anyways, let's see. So, the settlement engages in games of skill. Each player nominates a different survivor. Every nominated survivor determines their score for each possible contest. Survivor's score determines their place. If the settlement has only one survivor, do not roll. They realize that they have been competing against themselves and gain three insanity, a random disorder, and the last man standing fighting art. There we go. The t-shirt made of. Dirt. <laughs> uh, good morning, Karagi. Yeah, welcome to the Kingdom Death Monster. She just missed a stream that... Uh... Didn't actually go over too much. Time-wise. So went with one guy. Yeah, but he gets Last Man Standing. Which is sick. Because that, that's the one that gives you... Yeah, you can't gain bleed tokens or be knocked down if you're the only living survivor. 100% cotton? Caught in the door on, on my way to... My way to school. Oh, yeah. Yeah, eat one Acanthus as the, uh, the hoarder tribute. Yeah. There we go. Uh, and I'll put that there. There. There we go. But yeah. Oh yeah, and one more bone. Uh. Oh yeah, and lights in the sky. Oh yeah, we gotta gain our endeavors. Let's see. How bad is it gonna be? Uh, one tinker, two tinker, three tinker. It is funny health conspiracy, but alternative medicine nuts. The rate closed by vibration. Huh. Oh yeah, clear skip next hunt. Oh yes, the t-shirt has a debuff. It's something like, like a baby, good. <laughs> baby Karagi, meh. <laughs> Make your shirt vibrate. Listen. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the crazy pseudoscience stuff. There we go. Clean up showdown. Baby Ragi. Oh, the negative ion energy. That's just... Yeah, it's just radioactive. There's, there's no... There's nothing good about it. it endlessly amusing. Cursed armor. Yeah, health, health nonsense is practically a small cult. Alright, back to show, uh, settlement music. Hope you like corpse sounds. All of it's on the playlist and there's like... Nine other things. <laughs> uh... I already started several cults. No. Oh. Playing the streamer cards, what are you talking about? 
Uh, oh yeah. A spectacular light show erupts against the limitless darkness above. Swirling vivid trails streak overhead. They lift everyone's spirits. Now, is there a way to lose this game? Yeah, if everyone dies. Uh, so. Showdown Watcher. Uh, so. If you get to Atlanta near 25 without fighting the Watcher, then you. <laughs> yeah. So if you lose against the Watcher. Where, where is Side 2? To crucify Karagi, what? The audio should be playing. It might be low. Uh, where is it at? Oh, yeah, aftermath, defeat. Uh, so no matter how many survivors you have in backup, it's just with a great inhalation, the Watcher greedily consumes everyone and everything before traveling for an eon, ultimately seeking a new place to hibernate. The time of the settlement has come to an end. Its people and history are forever lost. Game over. The dog crucifies you. Uh, the dog get, got unexisted, unfortunately. Boiled noodles for three minutes. The poached egg and green onions. And a little bit of Parmesan. Don't forget that. Uh, just inhales everyone and everything. And then hibernates yet again. Yeah, and... Yeah, on Lantern Year 30, if you lose, you lose the game there as well. Against the Gold Smoke Knight. But that's something else. So yeah, if you're not prepared for that, then you lose there. The, the Watcher sucks, yeah. <laughs> if you have a Twilight Sword, the Watcher is a hilarious joke with a one-turn punchline. Uh... Only if you're the onion. <laughs> the just dry. <laughs> no! Is there anything that I can call the dryer? No, there is the microwave, though. Yeah, the Dragon King is the microwave. It's just a giant radioactive dragon. Listen, I've said this before, I'll say it again. Official ruling. If you put your if you put your, your Dragon King model in the microwave. If you microwave it, it starts with plus one damage. From, from word of mouth from the creator of the of the board game. There you go. <laughs> but yes, we get one endeavor per returning survivor, and then one extra per survivor of a tinker. So seven, and then one more for cooking. Okay, no. So eight total. <laughs> scratch your Black Lotus, it generates more mana. No, it'd be like if you scratch your Black Lotus, it generates less mana. <laughs> Having the monster start with extra damage is bad. Your figurines or love one. Wait, is there a story behind that? Uh, but no, I should find that tweet. Uh, KDM microwave. <laughs> Uh, no, it just brings up real microwaves. Just microwaved your brother? No. Hmm. Let's see, it's somewhere. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, th does my new Dragon King get any bonuses now that he's full of microwave radiation? <laughs> this is technically a ruling. Sh Shodoragi. Wait, what? Karaki microwaved their brother. Did that happen? Did I miss that one? Did I miss that st Oh no. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, here's the- here's the link. It's official ki kingdom death ruling. Technically. 
Uh, when is the last tweet from Kingdom Death? May 1st, 2020. It's almost been a year. Damn. Uh, you did it in your sleep. Oh, okay. Experimental contemporary Victorian music. Hmm. All right. You know what? You subscribe to Corpse, right? <laughs> uh, how much did that model cost? Uh, too much. To, too much to microwave. It's just plastic. I oh, mind Caleb. Oh yeah, we're actually at the shipping segment because matchmaker is an interesting ability. When you are a returning survivor, once per lantern year, you may spend one endeavor to perform intimacy. We have three. So we get three guaranteed intimacies. <laughs> You're not Victorian. Georgian. Really? Who the frick's George? Huh. Like the country? Uh, just enough to microwave in a moneyless society. No. Oh. Uh, but yeah, no, let me check the price of the dragon. Uh, Kingdom Dragon King. George Corpse this corpse. No! Uh... Does it show the price on the board game geek? Board game geek page. Hmm. Uh, I thought she was dead. Uh, I think you're right there. Hmm. I don't think it's uh one one hundred and sixty on some other website. Hmm. It's very expensive because it has eight. Listen. Okay. No. 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 Dead and Canadian. Confirmed the peach. Eh? Wait, are peaches from George? Oh, the state. Uh. Yeah, you get this dude, this dude, and a bunch of survivor miniatures as well. Or sprues. This thing's massive. I don't know how to explain how big this is. This thing's real big. Uh, yeah, the, that's like, <sighs> hmm, let's see, survivors are like one inch tall, if this is the scale, well, one or two inches, I don't know how to estimate inches, like one and a half, uh, yeah, it's like half a foot tall, like, it's big. Brother's bigger. Yeah, it's smaller than your brother. Probably. Peaches are from the court country. Ow! Oh, you got me. No. <laughs> uh, I've actually never played with many of the expansions. I've only played with the expansions that I own. So. Not, not, the, not all of the cool ones. Uh... You've never eaten a peach. Interesting. Uh, peaches and peaches and cream and sugar are good. It's been a while. Uh, so yeah, we got eight endeavors. Eh? I'm terrible. How do you get Apache as a view? No, it's, it's, <laughs> the username Sukavat Apache. Last name underscore channel. Am I gonna do the, the Sunstalker? Probably. Hmm. The other campaigns are very interesting. Cause yeah, the- Oh yeah, the Dragon King also comes with its own uh, rules for a separate campaign. That has a lot of changes. It's interesting. Uh... What is going on? Timeline. Yeah, but lights in the sky. Okay. Oh, we need to do Triathlon of Death. That's what I was missing. D don't worry about it. <laughs> it's stuck. Ontario. Hmm. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> Good morning, Uwutuwo. 
Oh, okay. We're showing off the Sunstalker as well. Unfortunately, I can't show off the model for Spadiculis, uh, in in this. Oh, it's colored too. Hell yeah. Yeah, this is this thing's big. This is the this is what the sun looks like. Uh, in fact, the Sunstalker campaign involves a very large Sunstalker, Sunstalker, just named the Sun. Yeah, Sunstalker is people of the sun, and Dragon is people of the stars. But yeah, that, that guy's big. Uh, those are both highly recommended expansions, because not only do they have an entire campaign, they break live 2D. I've had two separate ones, yeah. And uh, it should... I should get to work doing more of those. Americans hate what state they live in. But hate other states more. Yeah, for the most part. Risk of Rain and uh, Birthday Stream. I had a shirt that said Legacy Gamer. Ah, uh, oh yeah, let's see. Ton of resources. Oh, it's just a triathlon of death. Let's see. Uh, the classic, the classic rules for solo play is just play as if you were four different players died on the wall no i made it all the way up i got i got the five pebbles and then i ended the stream <laughs> uh is it still yeah still in the plane of stone faces yeah roll one for solo play discard your meds mm. keep the adderall no uh 14 cycles left yeah uh, let's see. There we go. So we got to select four survivors. You can get cool permanent stats. You can get apathetic, which is actually horrible. And you can get a dismembered arm. Torn Achilles tendon. Uh, let's choose some promising new survivors. Let's see. Tamaro has high strength. Gravity and Biscuits. High accuracy. We didn't get to learn about the wider world. The Gambler's Chest has a lot of stuff. There's the Abyssal Woods, which is eventually happening. Apathetic. Well, wait, no. Apathetic. Or is that Transcendent Masochist? Yeah, Transcendent Math Masochist. Let's see. Ignore Apathetic and Ecmophobia. <laughs> yeah, I did not do Neuron and Pearl. <laughs> uh, we may as well put Mighty German there. What, you add your understanding for that? For the <laughs> debate contest. Yeah. Alright, Mighty German it is. May, uh, we don't need to spawn the card. We may as well. Shame. Hmm, maybe I'll do another. Uh he's got good stats. Well, he's got five strength. Tamaro has five strength. Sukovat Patchy's got five. Era has five, but is almost retired. <laughs> Mighty Germ has nine. Dr. McJones also has a lot. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Master debater. Yeah, like... No, I'm not gonna... No, 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 no. Alien... And... There we go. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and... Does this affect returning survivors? Uh, it does not. Oh, yeah, let me write down three matchmakers. Nice. All right. So, just toss them all back to the settlement and heal and reset. 
Oh yeah, most didn't take damage. Interesting. I'll just put them in left to right order. If I need to do anything else, I will uh, reset them properly. Alright. So... Race contest. 1d10 plus the movement. Uh, actually, do I have anyone with... Oh yeah, uh, not that. Let's move this off for now. Hmm. Who has six movement? Corpse and Caleb had six movement. They died. How unfortunate. Extra movement is very, very rare. I, I wish I had. I wish I could get someone up to seven movement. Oh, I think Junie had six as well. Maybe. Hmm. Anyways. So. 1d10 plus movement. Everyone has the same, so it's just 1d10. Oh. So we got two ties for first place. It's the banger tune. Are you being sarcastic? I, I like the song a lot. Shut up. The banger. Uh. You know that track anywhere. Name it. Okay, good. <laughs> uh. Two fives. Uh. Hmm. Beast. But yeah, no, it... it hmm. Unfortunately, if you put the songs on your phone or something, it'll automatically put zero as the first song. Instead of one and ending with zero. Uh... Let's see. Plus one permanent movement once, uh, once per lifetime. Uh... So... White and red. Uh, Dr. McJones. Oh yeah, no, we don't. They're, they're already. So... I, I, mm, I, don't, I don't hear banger used unironically that much. Or unteasingly. I don't know. Not, not in a funny... Funny scenario. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah. First place... Racer. I use it unironically all the time. Hmm. Huh. I just go, yeah, that's a banger. It's just anything. Uh, and I know the first place racer. Kanlon Nankaro? Eh. Eh? No. There we go. And, oops. No second place, so we get third place once. New pair of rawhide boots. Let's see. And... Frickin' sweet. I'll put it on the bottom, like so. And... Who got last place? Blue. Ilya. Torn Achilles tendon. Uh. Fucked around with the player pianos to make songs that would be impossible to play. Uh. Yeah. There's the, uh. All those infamous, like. What was it? What was it? Unowned was her. Stuff like that on, on Synthesia or whatever. Uh, 20 Achilles Hendon. Until the end of the showdown, when you suffer a light, heavy, or severe injury, you're also knocked down. Discard this at the end of the showdown. Eh? Uh. There we go. Your leg cannot bear your weight. Until the end of the showdown, whenever you suffer light, heavy, or severe injury, you're also knocked down. Skip the next hunt. Gain one bleed token. Huh. I don't know if that... If that's just skip next hunt. Or if that works for the next showdown. Until you finish the next showdown. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. 
Uh, debate contest. Uh, 1d10 plus understanding. There we go. Two, two, uh, I'll have to figure this out. Six plus nine. It's a big number. Uh, three, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. So 15. Oh, shit. Mighty Germ got too much. Uh, that's eight plus nine, so that's 17. Hmm. I didn't want him to get first place. Damn it. Yeah, I wanted, uh... Uh-uh, I wanted Dr. McJones to get first place. We don't have a good chance of... If we... If we'd have to spend two rerolls to get one understanding... That's fine. So... Uh, first place, bragging rights, and one skull. There we go. Rigged. It's not... No! I don't know how debate contests could not be rigged. Uh, second place, Dr. McJones. He's already at maximum understanding. Maybe I shouldn't have picked them. Nah. No. I had a good chance of working out. Uh, and then another two. We got a one plus two and seven plus two. Yeah, nine and three. So, let's see. Whoops. Yes, yeah, skip next hunt. Survivor gets too angry and must skip the next hunt. Incredible. And fourth place, gain the apathetic disorder. Less than credible. I I Ilya again. Uh, oh no. There you go, search. Apathetic. <laughs> You've given up. Nothing seems to matter. You have no concern with your own well-being. You cannot use or gain survival. You cannot gain courage. Cure this disorder if you have 8 plus understanding. Low quality impersonation. Famous YouTube personality chills explain the premise of Kingdom Death Monster. Uh... Give me a moment. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. <sighs> mm, top 15 board games. Number one, Kingdom Death Monster. Monster is a game about surviving in the darkness. You lose if your settlement's population reaches zero. You win if your settlement defeats the Gold Smoke Knight. Monster is played by one to four players. Five to six player variants appears later in the book. We do not recommend starting there. Together, players will hunt and fight monsters, using what they scavenge to grow a small settlement. Each player typically plays as one of the survivors, and the other players take turns controlling the monster. There you go. <laughs> Easy. Hmm. Alright, and now fight contest. Uh, 1d10 plus strength. Ah, we could get a weapon proficiency out of this. Ah, shit. God damn it. Mighty Germ is almost certainly gonna win. That was a foolish thing. Cannon <laughs> E over pi. Over E over pi. No! Oh. Dramatic or spooky? It's... It works, though. Everyone can recognize chills. Yeah. Mighty Germ gets first place. He's got 9 strength. That's 17 total. Uh... Dr. McJones gets... 15... He's doing it as a joke originally. His voice is stuck like that? <laughs> he literally did it and he got stuck. Uh, 9 plus 5 is 14. 
for for Tamaro. And holy shit. Ilya lost again. Uh if one survivor gets fourth place for all events, they are banished from the settlement and considered dead. So he gets for the Burger, Burger King foot lettuce. Hmm. I'm tempted to just do that right now, but I won't. Uh Mighty Germ gets nothing. He's already the He already has mastery. That's unfortunate. Second place gets plus one permanent strength. Dr. McJones has become stronger. Fumo lettuce. No. Uh, third place gains a random fighting art. There we go. Leader. Imagine being so shit at PE class that you got kicked out of school. Yeah, I can. And fourth place, dismembered arm. Uh, let me read up on it just in case. There we go. Lose an arm. You can no longer activate two-handed weapons. This injury is permanent and can be recorded twice. A survivor with two dismembered arms, severe injuries, cannot activate any weapons. Gain one bleeding token. Yeah, match. Uh. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't have enough PE credits in school. Uh, the, I, th I think they gave me an award so that I could that I could pass. <laughs> Uh, homebrew KDM, but it's Lisa. Ah, that could work. Uh, just for fun, I will put. Oops. I will put it on the the severe injury. Uh, no. Dismembered arm. Losing arms becomes a good thing. Really, it wasn't a good thing in Lisa. Based PE avoider. It was only one credit. Uh. Damn. So sorry, Ilya. Child of Kragi and Kimmy Spice. Uh. Died. Ninth in year. What is it? Twenty six. No, I did. I did. I, I I did PE credits. I just missed one. Asset cardio. Pull the mob cycle and nearly blacking out. <laughs> Fuck little pull ups. Huh. Oh, fireballs. Yeah. The better your fireballs. Y yeah. It's based. I did need twenty six. I already forgot. Yeah, 26. Uh... It's out for losing the... Triathlon. Is that spelled right? Uh... No, there's no triathlon. Interesting. I never knew that. He puked and went home. Based. <laughs> uh. I mean, it works. Dead. Streamer, why hasn't the Kingdom Death Twitter posted in a year and a half? Because they're busy. Just check the, uh. Check the Kickstarter page. A group of muscle men. Ah, if only. Be too easy. Oh yeah, a survivor of choice gains one insanity. King of Death game monster. Eh? Actually, it's monster. Kingdom Death is the series. Oh yeah. Yeah, hopefully you're fine. Yeah, you were fine. Obviously you didn't die. Wait, no, it's not that obvious. You probably didn't die. Uh, 
Someone has immortal. Yeah, Dr. McJones. He's a ghost. Hmm. Not the first time. Kingdom Hearts must. There is the Kingdom Hearts Talisman game, which is interesting. Not for any particular reason, it's just interesting that it exists. There we go. <laughs> the ghost? Hmm. Based. Uh. We have a ton of resources. Uh, hmm. I don't think we're going to run into weird resource deck issues. Alright, let's put all the wild cards over here. Based on Maiden Abyss. The Talisman? Or this? Ricky, it's Reiku! They put hissing cockroaches in them! Uh, it just overworked, yeah. Hmm. Too much work is cringe. Real gamers don't work at all. God damn it. Alright, all the bones. How many bones do we have? Quite a few. All of the hide. Yeah, that's all of the bones. Organs. Here we go. Hide. Organ. More hide. More organ. More hide. Bone. Uh, small feathers. Tail feathers. Bones. <laughs> uh, yeah, more Maiden Abyss, like... Stuff would be cool. I know there's the game, which sounds interesting. It probably will be interesting. Uh, rainbow droppings, everyone's favorite. Sword beetle, not an organ. There you go. We have that many bones. Is that three, that twelve bones? Eight hide. Really, that's not that much. And 13 organs. <laughs> the elevator music. Coffers overfloweth with monster bits. Mm. Spending bits for channel redeems. Shouldn't there be another black lichen somewhere? Hold on, I'm going crazy. Something ain't right. Yeah, I should have two black lichen. Like and subscribe. No. I put it up here. And there's the, the wild card as well. There we go. Nice. Uh, yo, perfectly organized. Uh, hmm. Oh yeah, and lights in the sky. The settlement's collective imagination is set aflame. After rolling for any endeavor, you may you may add plus one or plus two to the result. So, hmm, bed is more uh, more reliable. Nightmare training is very reliable now. I want to use a ton of endeavors on this. We could get someone close to mastery. Yeah, because that turns eight, eight to nine into six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about spending one survival or dying. Uh. Let's see. Storytelling. We want to do Founder's Eye. Because we can do three uh, intimacies right now. Crimson Candy would be more reliable. Uh, anything else? Oh, Bloodletting. I never used this yet. And we could get 
Oh yeah, one to three is plus one understanding, lose all survival. You can't gain any survival this settlement phase for any reason. Interesting. Extra understanding is very valuable. And it's on a one to three, but it costs one resource. We've got three ones that we can spend for fun. <gasps> we can do cooking! Nice! Yeah, we got the perfect- Okay, well, hold on. I haven't cooked yet this campaign at all. Yeah. Okay. First of all, sick art. Uh, yeah, look at this. So, the survivors experiment with scraps of foodstuffs. The savory discovery is palatable. So, you select one cooking recipe, archive the listed resources, create a dish. Settlement phase one survivor may consume the resulting dish to gain the benefit. Any uneaten dishes are lost. <laughs> Bagsy. No. I did I did pick up the Redwall cookbook. Oh yeah, he's these guys. They, they, uh, that looks good. <laughs> he's base, he's got a scar over his eye. From cooking? Who knows? <laughs> uh he's even got the hat. With bones on it too. Mmm. -hmm. He's got leg guards for cooking. This dude knows what's up. <laughs> the, the, the ammo pouches for the ingredients. God. But yes, venison usopoco is classic. Conceptualize. Uh, but yes, you can make this recipe using only pieces from the antelope. It's perfect. <laughs> no! Mm, I can't be Kingdom Death Monster Cooking Man. <laughs> Anyways, feed the tick a beast steak. When the nightmare tick is full, simmer it in the bone marrow of the shank bone over medium lantern heat. Season with fresh acanthus. Yum. Does he dab on the monster hunter chefs? Those animations are pretty good. But anyways, yeah, one nightmare tick, one shank bone, one beast steak, and one fresh acanthus. Uh, a very, a very simple recipe. Nightmare Tick you can get from the Bug Patch and from level 3 Antelope Rewards. Shank Bone, Antelope, Beast Steak, Antelope, Fresh Acanthus. The Antelope starts with 6 Acanthus on the board. And... The, the main thing with all of these recipes is... Uh... Check this out. Uh, good boy, American. <laughs> uh, you're up. Welcome. <laughs> uh... So yeah, the bugs. And uh, there, there's the there's one for each of those stats. You know, those four recipes, they're good. They're really good. Anyways. Uh you can eat the bugs raw. So nightmare tick. They all share the same results. One to three, you die. Four to five, no effect. Six plus gain the stat in question. But the res the recipes make it the uh, 100% chance, and you get 10 survival. It's very useful. Uh, yeah, there's the three eye stew. Cyclops fly, eye of cat, phoenix eye, and fresh acanthus. Saute the monster eyes until soft and releasing moisture. Add the cyclops fly and fresh acanthus. Cook at a bare simmer until cyclops fly is tender. Serve warm. I know at least five and I don't cook with bugs. Uh, I didn't check the flower. No, I did have bugs in my pantry not that long ago. Oh, everything got thrown out, of course. I don't, I don't want to eat bugs. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't want to live in the pod either. I want to live in the gamer, the gamer barrel. Sword beetle skewer. Sword beetle, a bladder, antelope, lion testes, and fresh acanthus. Cube sword beetle, antelope bladder, and lion testes into bite-sized pieces. Season cubes with fresh acanthus. Thread the pieces onto straightened scrap pieces. Roast over lantern heat. Diogenes was the original gamer. Absolutely. <laughs> and stuffed cockroach. This one's interesting. Grind beef steak. Combine with fresh acanthus. And phoenix pustules. Hollow the hissing cockroach carcass and stuff with mixture. Bake in lantern oven. Delicious. Is lantern heat that hot? Uh, there's the lantern oven. Uh, I assume it refers to broken lanterns. The so yeah, beef steak, easy. Pustules, phoenix, so not easy. 
probably use Protect the Young's rerolls. Oh yeah, that's Community Edition only though. I never thought about that. Be a benefit, remove all disorders. Uh, did I delete that? I did, I can't check it. Damn it. But yeah, there's the Lantern Oven. By agitating lanterns, a source of heat becomes available to the settlement. So you have to get this before you can develop cooking. So yeah, I guess it's hot lanterns. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Yeah, if you shake them around enough, they release a ton of heat. Because they are... Weird? They've got, like, something inside of them. Hmm. Anyways, let's see. I need more... more agua. No, <laughs> hot lanterns in your area. Alright. Let's see. Thinking about recipes? Hmm. Let's see. I want to save the wishbone. There we go. Delicate bone of strange aura for making the phoenix bow. So that's out of the question. Uh, I want to save the crest crown for making the phoenix crown. We could make that right now, actually. Uh, yeah. If insane, reshuffle the hit location deck. And when you depart, gain one insanity and one survival for every blue affinity that you have. No. <laughs> if, if a survivor has two or less hunt XP, they get one reroll for the hunt and showdown phase. In addition to 2d10 for intimacy. Oh yeah. I guess that could work. Yeah, if you eat it during the showdown. That's not a horrible idea. Uh, I already made a hollow point arrow. Oh, here's a here's an actual cheese strategy. You have four survival survivors with a bow and a hollow point arrow each, and you just give the monster minus four movement if you hit with everyone. So that that breaks some monsters' AI because then you can just dash out of range even if you were adjacent the turn before. Eat, eat the pod, live in the bugs. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about the my wife is dead. All I want is a uh, the rock. No, uh, shimmering halo. Hmm, I'll save that for the hours ring. Let's see what else. Eye of cat. Uh, perfectly preserved. That can yeah, we can use that. Use that. Use those. Uh, we don't need the droppings for anything, do we? No. Yeah, those are perfectly usable. Screaming brain. We have the barber surgeon, right? Oh, we don't have the barber surgeon. Okay. Uh, back to antelope. So, yeah, we didn't have a, we didn't have pottery. If the settlement has pottery, when they defeat a level two plus screaming antelope, gain, gain the barber surgeon settlement location. So, we can make some stuff here. First aid kit is interesting. Brain mint is a little interesting. Let's see. Brain mint. Uh, remove all your tokens and stand up. You may use this while knocked down once per showdown. This one is fun. Hmm, I don't know if it's worth it. It does have some okay affinities. Bug trap. Start the showdown, add a bug patch terrain card to the showdown board. Uh oh yeah, some of these got changed by community edition. Oh, speed powder is incredible now. Increase the range of your perfect hits by one. <laughs> and you can take brain damage to gain a speed token. Now, but anyways, scavenger kit is interesting. It would have been nice to have gotten this early, but when you defeat a monster, gain either one random basic resource or one random monster resource from that monster's resource deck. So, if you build this early, you just get some extra free resources. 
And if you're looking for a specific card from the monster's resource deck, you've got a much better chance of getting it. Uh, Elder Earrings. Oh, this one's fun. It's got good affinities, and on arrival, gain plus two survival, uh, and one hunt XP after showdown. So, if you want to get a survivor, if you want to get someone more hunt experience late in the game, you use this. It's not particularly useful, but it's there in case you want it. Oh yeah, we can make... We cannot make an almanac. We can make the Elon Musk bomb. Uh, community, community edition change this. Uh, if you're adjacent to the monster, when it draws an AI card, you may spend two survival to roll 1d10. On a 3+, discard the AI without playing it, once per showdown. The terrain corpses too. Really? Oh yeah, it, it gives you like plus one or two when you're when you're investigating it. First aid kit is very nice too. On arrival, all survivors gain plus three survival. Very nice. And you can spend an action to remove one bleed token or negative attribute token from yourself or an adjacent survivor. It doesn't remove as many bleed tokens as bandages, but it has much more flexibility. And if you need a green affinity anywhere in your in your gear grid, this will almost certainly get you one. Hmm. Practically necessary for the green charm. I should start thinking about a blue charm build. Uh, tail feathers. I want to save the armor feathers. Uh, the, the phoenix feathers for making armor. Yeah, we can make a phoenix placard right now. Using the iron. Uh, bones. Don't particularly need any of those. We have... Oh, we only have one pelt. Uh... What does it cost? Uh... Oh, yeah. We should get a legendary horns. Where is it? Uh... Showdown. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Legendary horns trait. Uh, when the monster is defeated, gain the Legendary Horns Strange Resource. I forgot about that. Search. There we go. Holding them fills you with power. Oh, they count as bone and scrap. Interesting. That's fun. So, we can use that to make the Lance of Longinus. Yeah. Search. There we go. It only has 9 strength, so it does end up losing out to the oxidized Lantern Halberd, or Lantern Glaive. But each showdown, the first time you wound, the monster gains minus 1 toughness token. Wait a minute. Does that apply to... It doesn't say the first time you wound with this weapon. I guess you could just carry this in one gear one gear slot <laughs> and then just give the monster minus one toughness that's interesting i'll consider that i'll look up the rules on that or forget about it i want to save that for later as well all right hmm uh yeah i think it is too late for a scavenger kit though oh yeah and you can do trepanning uh an auger gingerly applied to the skull of the survivor is used to drill through the bone in the dangerous pursuit of remedies by releasing blood built up in the brain. So, 1 to 2, intracranial hemorrhage. 3 to 6, cure 1 disorder. 7 to 9, cure intracranial hemorrhage. 10 plus, expanded consciousness. Gain 1 random, random disorder and random fighting art. It's interesting, to say the least. I don't think anyone has intercranial hemorrhage at the moment. Uh, but that one's fun. I made a song that sounds like that back when he started writing songs using mid eye. Yeah, I tried. I tried writing stuff with with mid eye or learning how to use some like mid eye songwriting software. But mid eyes on Linux are beyond finicky. 
because you need to like have a separate thing open to actually be able to play the audio and it you need to mess with the audio channel i never figured it out properly and it was not fun and it did not work i ended up having to not be able to hear anything else while it's going hmm yeah maybe it was a little worse than that i don't know linux daws kind of suck is, is that what it is whatever it is it kind of sucked oh, but we can build one beast knuckle uh yeah when you win with this weapon the monster gains minus one toughness until the end of the attack hmm let's get a windows laptop or a second pc or a second hard drive maybe i've been considering doing that but then again windows sucks i refuse to concede uh being stubborn is worth more than convenience <laughs> uh, mm. oh, we lost Junie. We don't have anyone with any good stuff. Dual boot club. Nah, I don't want Linux to touch. I, I, I don't want. I don't want the. I don't want Windows to touch my hard drive with my cool stuff on it. There we go. <laughs> Withholding my full potential. No. Yeah, nothing at the lion at the Katarium is really worth it. What does the lion head just do? Oh, party target token. That's cool. Just dual boot? No. What part of I refuse do you not understand? What those update? <laughs> oh. I love that video, that dude. Uh in the middle of a yeah, the, the computer stops and gives them a Windows update warning. Like, the computer will restart in five minutes. And it's, it doesn't let him click out, and he's just losing it. Because, uh... Yeah, it just doesn't let him quit. <laughs> I have final YAB material. Hmm... I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, I get more lazy the gamer. Oh no. Ah, uh, welcome to the survivor na name list. Welcome to Kingdom Death Monster as well. Uh there we go. Yeah, your computer will restart. Yeah, the Windows updates suck. But no, it's like the it wouldn't let him like save the thing that he had open. It's impressive. Uh we could make a good club eventually. <laughs> Break your PC, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just get Linux. Ah, uh, but yes. Uh, I want to build lantern gear. Ah, oh, yeah, so. We already have the helmet and the boots. We could build Greaves. Three remaining deferrals. Wait, what? You have to play it like a fucking video game? Like, oh, you get... You get three Ws. What? You, mm. you, get, you get one deferral as a treat. But yes, plus two accuracy with club weapons. Uh, on the on the gauntlets. Mm. Uh, let me reset so I can view the rest of them. Yeah. Curious... We need minus two movement, which is a pain, but when you depart, add three armor to all hit locations with metal armor. Rather not be able to play half the shit that exists. I haven't had like any problems at all, really. Somehow. Only a few things have caused problems. Uh Lantern Mail just completes the set. And it is five armor to the waist. <laughs> but yeah. It's not that bad. Somehow, a lot of things work. I, I want a perfect Slayer. Ever since you updated Windows, your laptop is slow as fuck. Yeah. Planned obsolescence, baby. Let's go. Uh. Damn it. Both the Gauntlets and the Curious require two iron. Uh. 
Oh yeah. Uh, we have eight endeavors. Let's see, three of those can be spent on intimacy. Do we need new survivors? No, I need to ship. Uh, one on face painting, and then four on investigating the lantern horde. You refuse to give Microsoft money. Based. Wait. You can't change the desktop background? Oh, is it just for unlicensed copies or something? Interesting. Hmm. Alright. Let's do face painting. Founder's Eye. Uh, we get to add one to two to this. There we go. Four plus. Once per lantern year, plus one to all roles on the intimacy story event. It's a weird restriction. I guess it's so that you know that it's fake. Bam. One endeavor. Hmm. But yeah, who are we going to ship? What, uh, what do we need to pass down? God, Dr. McJones can't pass down spear proficiency. Hmm. Turbo can pass down two. It's not too bad. Didn't experience that. Hmm. Interesting. Windows isn't real. Now oh, XP. Yeah, Windows XP is good. Uh, it's unfortunate that they took uh, support for that off. I guess Kerbal Gamer and uh, who's the newest? Gra Gravity and Biscuits. There we go. How old is my computer? Mine is like three years old, about. I think the yeah the the video card's older than that. XP didn't let you run if it was unlicensed. Windows 10 does, it just restricts cosmetic changes. Interesting. Hmm. So. Intimacy, nominate one consenting male and one consenting female survivor and roll on the intimacy table below. We took survival of the fittest, so we roll twice and pick the lowest result. Uh, we get, was it plus one? Yeah, plus one to all rolls on it. There we go. Damn it. Oh, that's bad. So either we get two, or if we re-roll re this one, we could get three at best. Yeah. One, the couple cannot bear the weight of the world. They clasp hands and march into the deep and endless darkness. The nominated survivors are dead. Two to three, the female survivor perishes with her child during birth. The settlement is cast in gloom. The male survivor mourns, gaining a random disorder and plus three insanity. I think Pad's good. Okay. Love not even once. No. Is it worth it? Hmm. Let's spend. I don't know. Doc Pestis's reroll. Sorry, buddy. Next time he's in a sticky situation, good luck. No, no, I only get to reroll one of them. Uh, state two. There we go. And seven. Okay, as long as you roll three or higher, we won't lose a survivor. Yeah, the worst thing is two to three, you lose the survivor and you don't get a new one. Uh... Anyone old still has their reroll? No, Sukavat still has one, but he's he's doing well. I think he might want it. Uh, Cripple Gamer. Wow, we only have two rerolls left, I think, unless I skipped over them. 
All right. Uh, yeah, the rerolls are best used for intimacy. Oh, there we go. Double sevens, nice. So plus one, eight. Same result. The settlement gains plus one population. The male and female survivors share a deep bond and gain plus ten survival each. And if the settlement invaded bed, the new survivor gains plus one permanent strength. All right. Who is it? Uh, let's see. KDM. Wait, no, no, uh, dice roller, dice roller. Uh, the first 42 have all been used in order. So. Uh, hold on, let me do. Let me do some math. 271 minus 42. All right, one, one D, two twenty nine, plus forty two. I got one twenty six. Uh, Laxon live. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, last name... Ryder. For the one spear proficiency. No, it should be two now. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And... Uh, because of some innovations that we have, all survivors start with... One accuracy, three strength, two evasion, two courage, two understanding, and two hunt experience. Uh, all right, there we go. Two of those. One, three, two. One survival for being named. And the parents gain ten survival each. Doc Pestis already has max survival. Uh, cover gamer goes up to 13. There we go. Let's record the parents and the year. There we go. Uh, there we go. And. Oh, wait, no, it's Gravity and Biscuits, not Doc Pestis. Oh yeah, and plus one strength for the bed bonus. There we go. Nice. And we get the first hunt experience milestone. Uh, yeah, it's over here. So age, your time in the darkness changes you. Uh, let's hit the first one. Get some cool stuff. Almost certainly a random fighting art. Although, it could be something else. Oh, 16. Plus one permanent accuracy. That's nice. Uh, and... Hmm. Alright. Let me put these endeavors right here. There we go. Now, who do we ship? Actually... Is anyone... We could get Bone Miser up to 6 Twilight Sword proficiency with Nightmare Training. And then... Make someone with 3 Twilight... Nah, that's not worth it. Uh... Hmm... Best part of the game, the breeding. <laughs> no! Hmm... Yeah, we'll save that all for later. Uh... I mean, we could get a few spear master- or uh, spear specialists. Interesting. Hmm. 
viewer shipping. Selectively breeding characters for their rerolls and their skills. Oh yeah, extra rerolls is good. It's not selective there. Uh it's just weapon proficiency. Uh it's the only thing that gets passed down. Hmm. Uh, we could give Ember one more, but we already have Bow Mastery as an innovation. Yeah, we only want to get people up to bow mastery, not specialization. Do we, do we give Patchy that two more grand weapon proficiencies? Hmm. No. Uh, yeah, let's just make some free, uh... Some free spear guys. Uh, do we want to change up the ship? Hmm. Uh. Yeah, how about, how about <laughs> undead bee man? We're making more riders. Hmm. There we go. So... Spend one endeavor. Complete the ship. Two ones, god damn it. Oh, that's bad. Uh... We only have two re-rolls left. No. We do have plus one. But that's only... The two result. Hmm. I mean, we could take the L. It's only got two strength. Or right, she. Hmm. Ship was a crack ship. Sorry, undead bee man. Hmm. MF has really cracked the ship. Uh... Yeah. The female survivor perishes with her child from birth, uh, during birth. The settlement is cast in gloom. The male survivor mourns, gaining a random disorder and plus three insanity. Twilight and Mordecai. Oh, <laughs> somehow I forgot about that. Somehow. Ever failed both? Uh, what do you mean? Hmm. No, well, I've always kept rerolls around so that we don't get the uh, the one result. Oh yeah, we should have one more endeavor. Ah. Uh, or no. But we should have a random resource. Yeah, cannibalize. Whenever a survivor dies, draw one basic resource and add it to the settlement. Loss ceases to exist or is ex no exiled. Never mind. We don't. We don't get it. Well, because Ilya got exiled from uh, losing the triathlon. Uh, only 26. Hmm. Died in childbirth. Dead. And Kerbo. Plus three insanity. And what else? And a random disorder. Okay. <laughs> MLP strikes again. Uh, no. Traumatized. Your experiences have left you shaken and paralyzed by fear. Whenever you end your act adjacent to a monster, you are knocked down. Interesting. Uh, spawn. Drop it in. Shaken by fear, but not stirred. Uh, good morning, Song Leaves. Welcome to... Welcome to... 
uh, viewer shipping. And who's the last ship? Uh. Mm -mm. Let's see. Can't pass down the spear there. Uh. Oh, it's interesting. Hmm. Does anyone have shield anymore? Yeah, Kimmy Spice. Uh, zero proficiency isn't worth it. Hmm. Yeah, we need more spear proficiency. Uh, I guess. Hmm. Maybe blue corn flour. Uh. There we go. All right. New ship. Let's go. Cool. Two nines. There we go. Yeah, because we get plus one from Founder's Eye. The settlement celebrates a twice fortunate event. A pair of healthy newborn survivors enters the world. The settlement gains plus two population. Unfortunately, we did not get a ten. Even a nine and a ten would have got it, but still. It's very rare. For a special child. No savior this campaign yet. There we go. Hmm. Let's see. Near six. Parents. There we go. No Jesus who dies instantly yet. It's funny. It's worth it. There we go. And is that not blue underscore corn flour? Okay. And we can just copy this and paste it. It is funny. Hmm. I've never had a survivor at all. I mean, a savior at all. I've never had a survivor. Oh, no. Yeah. To end spear. There we go. One survival to be named in a moment. Uh, no. There we go. Two, two, and two. And two. There we go. <laughs> good to go. Hey, good luck, Mirkan. Uh, good go. Have a good go. Don't want to go. <laughs> Good luck with uh, whatever you're doing. Ah, uh, two more, two more, two more names from the list. Let's see, one fifty-six. Uh Legion D twenty-four-seven. Hmm. No. There we go. Now I'm clicked. I could go. We already gone. Uh, no, I'm doing it random now. Because no one, I'm, I'm not gonna make that many survivors in one campaign, or even two. It gives new people a chance. Hmm. Yeah, you're number 60. Uh, based. <laughs> hmm. How many is it so far? Ah, 
Yeah, no, you wouldn't have gone. There's 21 living, 31 dead. Plus four more. I mean, you might have been one of the last ones. Maybe. Uh. Okay, yeah, it's properly marked. Alright. Uh huh. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right, one more. One sixty. Calavera VT. There we go. Now good morning, Zurotaki. Are you on the list? Now, nah, welcome to the survivor name list. Uh, you missed your chance to get named this very moment. You're like one in a hundred, like one in a hundred and fifty chance or whatever. CT. Wait, what? Yeah, welcome to the Kingdom Death Monster. There we go. Uh, and age milestones for both of them. Mrs. Calavera. There we go. I didn't add right at the end. Uh, 15, random fighting art. Maybe one day you'll die. Hopefully. In the video game world. Ah, huh. that one's nice. Just plus one on severe injury rolls. There you go. Spawn. Easy. And... Uh, what result for Calavera? 10, random fighting art. Hmm. There we go. Ambidextrous. All melee weapons in your gear grid gain paired. Cannot be used... Cannot be used if there are any shields, two-handed, or heavy gear in your gear grid. Interesting. That one's silly. Hmm. It's not too useful. Paired is not a good ability, for the most part. There we go. Put these back in the settlement. I forgot I had those guys out. Uh, but... Hmm... Now we have three more and four more endeavors. Uh, who, who can we risk? Uh, no, no, you can't die doing this with lights in the sky. So yeah, we get lights in the sky gives us plus one or two for any endeavor rolls. And investigating, not dual wielding rib blades. Are those one handed? Hmm, that sounds interesting. Hmm. Unfortunately, paired doesn't work with the same weapon. Oh, I see. That's silly. Uh, but yes, we could get your roll result. So four to six broken lantern basic resources. Uh, seven to eight, two cocoon membranes. And nine plus lantern tube. Now they're slow, so you have to frenzy. Oh yeah, you wouldn't get the bonus. Yeah. Good point. Uh, oxidation. So, what do we need? Three leather, three bone, three organ, black lichen, and a cocoon membrane. Uh, if we want the lantern glaive, we'll need uh one iron, four bone, to make it better. Hmm. But yeah, the the gorm is. I've seen the gorm rated. Pretty high in terms of expansions as well. Uh, oxidized beacon shield costs two iron. Shit. We really need more iron. Uh. Hmm. Gorm genuinely makes the game way easier. Huh. Just because of the early game options, I assume. Uh. We'll need a ton of leather for the blacksmith as well. Shit. For the, the lantern set. Let's see, how many are in the deck? Right, full of leather. Hmm. Now 
I just delete them. There we go. Uh, easy to fight as well as soon. As soon as you learn the trick to the fight. Don't stand in the piss spot. Uh, there we go. Free ammonia too. Oh, okay, yeah. Gax or greater Gax will carry you. Ah, I heard right mace is interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't need, I don't need to make anything this year either. Maybe some silly stuff. Uh, hmm. I do want to make a red charm eventually. We can do that now. Uh. Right, Mace is great. Two range on greater Gax. Oh yeah, A anything with range is very good. Uh, anything to use all these bones on. Hmm. Oh yeah, while we have the super bonus, uh, <laughs> the super great bonus, I, I want to try getting more broken lanterns. Oh yeah, the armor. I've heard the armor set isn't that good. Hmm. Same with the lion, though. Uh, who do we send? No one has legendary lungs. It doesn't matter, though. Uh, someone that can take disorders? Does anyone have three disorders that we don't want? Hemophobia is okay. Chaotic. Yeah. I heard regeneration suit is really good, though. Oh, maybe if I could remove Vestophobia from Aira. I could use her one more time. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, anxiety. That one's not bad. Monster Panic kind of sucks. Remove an acquired greater injury. Oh. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Okay. Alright, Aira gets to go into the uh, the Lantern Mines. So... Where is it? Exalted Lantern Horde. You descend into the spherical chamber beneath... Mm, hold on. I'm out of liquid. <laughs> Anxiety. It's good for you. You start with the priority target token. You descend into the spherical chamber beneath the Lantern Horde. The air is poison. You hold your breath. So, let's see. How poisonous? Oops, there we go. Five. We can bring that up to seven. Yeah, two cocoon membrane strange resources. Let's go. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Apparently, there's only one in the deck. Mm. So, organ and other. Thin copper hairs permeate this jelly-like substance. Lanterns are repelled by the copper hairs. They're light bending to avoid them. Interesting. Mm. But, we got it. Let's do it again. This Gorm automatically gives you an innovation. We're beating it. You rapidly get the visitor. Oh, yeah. Hooded Knight sucks. Oh, nine. Nine plus. Oh, no, that was a nine. Shit. Whatever. I thought I could turn it around. Not, uh, not re-roll it. So add one lantern tube's strange resource to settlement storage. Uh, we need one of those for something. Oh, wait, what? It, it, it counts as an organ. Oh, it counts as scrap as well. A fleshy, muscle-lined tube. When you gain this, roll 1d10. On a 6+, plus, you find something stuck inside. Add one broken land and basic resource to the settlement's storage. Alright. That's a 4. Damn. No free lantern. 
it counts as an organ. I'll put it with the organs. Let's see, critically fail him faster. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> Never have to see him again. Based. Wait, I spent one endeavor. I did two rolls. Yeah, one endeavor on the leather. Three. Yeah, okay. So I only have one left. Here we go. Five. We could get two cocoon membranes, or we could get... We could get six broken lanterns. Hmm. Cocoon membrane. Are these worth it? Uh, how does oxidation go? One black lichen, one cocoon membrane. Hmm. What does the lantern tube do for us? Uh. Oh, for the lantern sword. Limp. No. Let's see. I don't remember the stats for an oxidized lantern sword. It might be good. No, it should be here. Sharp and- oh yeah, deflect one. It's only got five strength, unfortunately. But yeah, deflect is interesting. It- it doesn't go away at the end of the turn. So, it, it's like block, but it sticks around. Uh, the beacon shield, though, is incredible, because not only does it give you more armor to all hit locations, but it gives you deflect, too. I think. Yeah, regular beacon shield is... No, it's the same amount of armor, just deflect, too. And one more strength. Still, that's really good. Uh, but... Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna make that many items. I can use this as scrap. Or an organ. Uh, but I, yeah, I'd rather have six. Yeah, I rolled a five, I can add just one to it. And I can get six broken lanterns. Yeah, roll result. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Eight scrap. Very nice. Yeah, next year, we can use some scrap and mash it all together to make three iron. And we already have- we, we have one right now. Interesting. And we have a ton of leather. Yeah, I'll put the- the bonus research- the endeavor resources up there. The soon-to-be iron. Uh... Yeah, I can cook. I can just save that for next year as well. Mm. There we go. Uh, easy. Sword beetle. Not too interested. Hmm. Let's see. What do we need for the sword beetle recipe? There we go. Uh, a bladder and lion testes. Uh, I currently have neither, so I'd need to fight an antelope and a white lion. Which wouldn't be worth it. Hmm. I could. Where is it? Uh, I could make the crest crown. That requires six organs. I've got quite a few sitting around that I don't need. Question is, is there anything that I'd rather make? Lantern mail, maybe? That's one iron, five organs. Hmm. And it's for the lantern set. I might want to just keep the lan uh, the the organs for now. Hmm. I mean, I could make the katana pieces. Wait. I think I could make the whole katana. Yeah. I can make the, the rainbow katana and the sheath. Uh, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a katana, so it doesn't have any weapon proficiency. Hmm. 
but or strength with sharp. Uh, hmm. It's funny, but it's not good enough. Yeah, we need the most gamer weapons. Uh, like an oxidized lantern glaive. I mean, we could... If we had the endeavors, we could make one right now. We'll have to wait till next year. Hmm. Uh, anything else? Wait, red charm. That requires too many affinities. We can't just slot it in on anyone. Blue charm, though, is interesting. Uh, can I do it? So, blue charm. Unshakable. You need five blue affinities. It counts as one. We need f four others. When you draw a trap, roll 1d10. On a 6+, plus, discard the trap and reshuffle the deck. So, that's just a 50-50 chance. And if you combine that with Spear Specialization, you get a, a very good chance to ignore traps. Uh, so there's already two there. With something else, that could be three. Four. Hmm. Not quite. Hmm. Is there anything better for that? I mean, that there, maybe. We wouldn't have the set bonus. Hmm. Anything with multiple blue affinities on it. And there's the lucky charm. But it's hard to fit that and a lantern in. The dragon slayer is a weapon with a blue affinity. But... We wouldn't get the six spear specialization bonus. Hunter whip. Interesting. Uh, can't I circle it? Oh yeah, that one's a classic. Ah, the crest crown. That could work. Not too well. Hmm. Nothing in particular. No easy way to get it to work. Ah, uh, well. Hmm. No. I don't think it's worth it. Uh. It is good, though. I'll think about that. Uh. We'll put that one back. But the red. Red, uh. Red charm, we will need eventually. It just free up some space. There we go. So, unstoppable. When you attempt to wound, instead, roll 1d10. On a 1 to 5, fail. On a 6 to 10, wound. Uh. Ah, maybe we could just make that gear grid right now, just to. Just, just as a treat. Just so I can show off that build. There we go. That stuff there for now. We will need a lantern. So, we've got all the cat stuff. Here we go. Hmm. Maybe that, that, that. That just for the armor for the set bonus. And where's the red charm? There we go. Let's see. So unstoppable. Uh, so what this means is your strength bonus doesn't matter. All that matters is it's it's just a 50-50 shot, whether you wound or fail. That's not useful on the monsters that we're fighting right now, but that might be useful for the, for the level 3 Kingsman. Hey, let's check this. Oops. Uh, yeah, everyone has all the funny stuff. He has 18 toughness. Uh, we put someone there. Uh, where's Sukavat? Yeah, let's check the, let's check the toughness. 
Oh, he's not wounding consistently with a Dragon Slayer. And someone with the Lantern Glaive will have just about as much trouble. Let's see. Yeah, it's not, it's not too good. Uh, nine on two D ten isn't that bad. And he does have the weak spot, so minus four toughness in the blind spot. So a hmm, a red charm survivor wouldn't be too bad. Ah, uh, but as far as weapons go, you use where is it? Bone daggers. There we go. Uh, search. I will make at least one bone dagger because I want to use it. Uh, I'll spend the skull. There we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, that would work. So, paired, perfect hit, gain one survival. You can use a second one as well, so you get three speed, so you have a good chance to hit multiple times. But the, the main idea is, the one strength doesn't matter. The perfect hit bonus is nice. Oh yeah, community edition makes it paired. So in vanilla, this would, you'd only be using one. Oh yeah, and you get plus one movement from the white lion boots. Uh, oh yeah, you can pounce. No, you, mm, you need the chest piece to pounce. Uh, but anyways. Yeah, you end up... Uh, you end up being able to... Wound something like the final boss. The... Gold Smoke Knight has... 26? 27 toughness? And no gimmick to get around it. Your, your choices are... A lot of strength. Uh... Red Charm is one choice. Founding Stones, maybe? Yeah, well, crits. And... That's about it. Just <laughs> Germ Adam. Yeah. Like I said, high strength. So he's got, like, 14 now. Uh... Plus 9 for... <sighs> yeah, it's, it's pretty much... <laughs> you have to do it. Uh, crits are something. Hmm. But yeah, we can put all these away now. There we go. Keep the helmet on top so I know what it is. I may as well pile all of this into one pile. Uh, we could try a white lion set. I don't think it's good. If you're on pounds plus the steel shield, you end up moving... A really funny fashion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Pounce is interesting. Now, unfortunately, I made the other chest piece. Community Edition makes the... The cloak work as an outfit. Uh... Hmm. Let's see. What's the highest strength club we can get? Skullcap Hammer has five. Two speed, five plus accuracy. And the Bone Club. You have no legs, but you must pound. Yeah. Uh, six plus accuracy, two, three, five. Cumbersome, cumbersome, huh? I might want to build a skull cap hammer eventually. Two bone, one hide, one scrap. For use with the... The, the lantern set. Hmm. It's a lot of iron. Oh yeah, that was one thing that I wanted to do. I want to build more pickaxes. One bone, one leather. We might not need it now. Uh hmm. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, there was something stupid that required a bunch of bone. Maybe I, I was just thinking of the the katana. Hmm. The, really, the Lantern Sword requires five bone. It's not that good. Well, maybe it is. It does have block. Uh. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think... Huh. Bone club is cheap. We could start training club proficiency. Or not. Hmm. Oh yeah, we can do the final level of lantern res- Ah, wait, I used all the- <laughs> I used all the endeavors. Anyways. Uh, I think we just want to save these resources for, for later. For next lantern year. Uh, next stream. Yeah, I did think about... Oh yeah, Lance of Longinus? No, that's six organs. That sucks. I did think about, uh... Doubling up on hunts and stuff. So that I could... <laughs> I could beat the game before New Year's, but... That seems unnecessary. And, uh... A bit much. But yeah, uh... Let's see, who's online right now? It's 5.30. Anyone that showed up would have showed up by now. <laughs> on in terms of streaming uh let's see uh hmm i'm online right now eh read myself there's a lot online jones is doing blindfold dark souls right now really i don't see wait what read myself Oh, did he just start? Or did he- did the stream go offline? Uh, alright, I'll read Germa. My alternate account. Wait, no! <laughs> I went to Germacon 2022. And this is what happened to me. <laughs> no. Uh, mm, enough giggling around. I should upload those VODs. Soon. I knew there was someone that actually watched the VODs. You can see that. You can see that on the YouTube analytics. Those actually get like... I like more how to fix. You're welcome. Uh, read... Germa985. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> but yeah, thank you everyone for enjoying the stream. Uh, yeah, I did the payout already. I clicked the wrong button. Uh... Did I upload that one? I, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, eh, mm, I really need to get around to uploading everything else. I do kind of want to edit them, but you can just download the, the VODs right off of YouTube. You're a VOD watcher. No. Slash ban. Ooh, to a woe. Anyways, uh, tomorrow back on Delta Rune. I don't know. I get more deathly ignorant. Sleep is based. And welcome to the survivor name list. Uh, YouTube has quality options if you don't go transcoding. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I need to remember to save this. But anyways, uh, D D Delta Rune tomorrow. <laughs> good morning, good night. Uh, wait, uh, almost over. Uh, wait, does that have? What if I just? Uh, uh, what else? Oh yeah, Paper Mario after that. Paper Mario 64. Uh, and, 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 uh, oh shit. Oh yeah, the, the, the world building continues on Friday with the, the map maker. YouTube is included with ISP's traffic. Huh. Oh, so you get... You get high quality videos instead of low quality. Okay, uh, the raid's gonna go. All right, later. Welcome, Raiders, to uh, a bad idea that I'm sticking with. And for those of you who are new to the stream and have never seen me before, 
Uh, I'm not actually a skeleton. This is a uh, um, um. This is what happens when you sneeze with your eyes open. That's it. That's it. Don't need to worry about getting spooked or scared off or anything. Also, welcome, Ratty Uwu to Owo and Paper Bag Channel. What were you streaming, actually? I didn't have time to check anything. And pretty much this entire stream is just going to be, uh... Pretty much just gonna be this fight, honestly, I'm figuring. This, uh, it's pretty hard to do this fight blindfolded because lava holes everywhere. And Jax Blanc, thank you so much for the follow. I don't tell this to a lot of people. In fact, you're the only person I've ever told this to. KDM the favor. Oh, I've heard about that. Kingdom Death something. Jax Blanc. Thank you so much for the follow. And I don't tell this to a lot of people. In fact, out of all 577 followers, you're the only one I've told this to. But, uh, you're actually my favorite one. That's right, my number one. Beating out all the rest. Because, you know, Jax from Jackson Daxter, that's one of my favorite games. And Blanc is just fun to say. Jackson Blanc. That seems like an award-winning game right there. Alrighty, now let's do another swing at this fight. So you can see how this fight normally goes, Raiders. I basically cast off a couple of buffs, walk in here, and then get fucking owned. But I won't be able to reply to chat real quick, so... How is that even blocking with, uh... Strong Magic Shields and doing shit, huh? I wonder if these are unblockable. I probably need to get closer. That's fire breath, which is I probably need to get closer. But it was the red rather than the straight. Okay, that's a melee, so now we're in the right distance. a slam. Uh, that's sweeping fire breath. And that's lava hole. All right. So yes, welcome to this boss fight. I have successfully determined that uh, this shield is almost worthless except for blocking his fire projectiles. Meaning that my only real route forward is probably going to be just slamming him even harder with more damage, which means Blossom Kite Shield, I guess? That seems like the play here. This time for sure. Well, here's hoping. Yeah, either Blossom Kite... I mean, hmm. Doesn't have to go a lot worse. Oh no, I've been doing this boss fight for like four hours at this point across several streams. So that's just kind of, I've, I've got an idea of how to do this guy. If you're in melee, he uses melee attack. So I do one roll forward when I hear him start throwing a lot of fireballs around. And then if he keeps throwing fire, then I'm going to do another roll forward. And then if he keeps throwing fire, I'm going to do another roll forward and accidentally land in the lava. Also, as you can see, I specifically line myself up with the right side of the door. Anyway, another round. Fire laser. Is 
that's a regular fire breath, so I need to roll forward. Or I just need to die. That works too. Just roll through the attack. Uh, I probably could actually. I'm just worried about falling off, but I think going to the right will probably make me less likely to fall off. Maybe I'll try alternating right and left rolls to see if that doesn't get me into the same spot. Probably won't, but it's probably worth a shot. Oh, Croab Nabiatha. Thank you so much for the follow. I don't tell this to a lot of people. In fact, you're the only person who ever told it to, but you're actually my favorite follower. That's right, my number one. Because honestly, I'm just a big fan of Gaelic, especially Welsh. Welsh is one of my favorite languages because it helps people lose desert bus. God, that was a fun stream. Looking forward to my next desert bus stream with uh, Spike. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna actually try dodging this time. Dodge right when I think. But I think that hey, he's gonna do an attack. Let's see how this goes. Okay, that was the sweeping fire, so I probably need to roll forward. And I died! I wasn't actually even trying to roll through those attacks, I was just trying to...